scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. They cannot help themselves. No matter what earthly advantage you have, there are dimensions where it is only the Spirit of God. Chapter 32 and verse 8 of Job. Elihu was speaking, he says, but there is a spirit, not in heaven, in man. There is a spirit in man and the inspiration, the word there is breath, breath. It doesn't just mean motivation, the breath. There is no motivation that gives illumination. It takes the breathing of the spirit can give men understanding. Isaiah 11 and verse 2 that all these spirits when they rest upon you go to verse 3 they are all for one purpose and he shall make him of quick understanding that means there is timing matters in your knowing the things of God of quick understanding of quick understanding of quick understanding lift your voice and say lord light my candle light my candle neither do men light a lamp that's the secret not neither do men have a lamp neither do men light a lamp and put it under a bushel Light my candle, O oh God. Light my candle. Open my eyes to see. Hallelujah. Job chapter 29. We're going on shortly. Job was a very, very strange man. We're reading from verse 1 to 4. Moreover, Job continued his parable and said, We're reading to 4. But that I were in the months past, in the days when God prayed me. Uh huh. When his candle shined upon my head now think just don't rush when his what candle shined upon my head that God will shine a candle upon a man's head and when by his light not my light by his light thy word O Lord is a lamp to my feet a light to my path when by his light I walked through darkness. For as I was in the days of my youth, when the secret of the Lord was upon my tabernacle, this was the basis of his results. The Lord shined his candle upon my head. Then the Lord used his light and said, Walk through your darkness, use my light. And then he kept his secrets on my tabernacle. Like you go to your library and you find a book called The Secrets of God. 
you can now begin to read all the exploits that happen light secrets light secrets light let me tell you the truth there are things that are not public god must come to you and show you ephesians chapter one let me show you something and then we'll sit down ephesians chapter one mighty god of heaven from verse 8 wherein he had abounded toward us in all wisdom and prudence having made known unto us the mystery of his will according to his good pleasure which he had proposed in himself that in the dispensation of the fullness of times he may gather together in one all things in christ both which are in heaven and which are in the earth all in him it says in whom we have also obtained an inheritance being predestined according to the purpose of him who worked all things after the counsel of his own will yeah this is it please let's go to chapter three it just came to my spirit and I thought to share it with us. Verse 2. If ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God which is given me to you, word, meaning for your sake, how that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery as i wrote a four time in few words whereby when ye read ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of christ now the verse that i've been looking for is in verse five read with me please one to read which in other ages that means that there are truths that in other ages were not known he says as it is now revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the spirit it is not every mystery we share now that was known in time past the holy spirit has not stopped revealing just like he has not stopped creation the bible says in revelations there were times john saw some things he says seal it close this one it is not for this time one prayer the mystery for this season oh god let me see it the secret of the lord that makes for exploits in this season not just in time past what the spirit is saying saying which in time past was not known But in these last days hath he revealed to us by his holy apostles and prophets by the spirit the mystery for the season oh god hallelujah please be seated god bless you Let's pay attention. We'll rise up and pray just to exhort our hearts. When Jesus began to teach about the Holy Spirit, among the many things, please settle down, among the many things he said, the Holy Spirit will show you things to come, not just things that are happening. That means you will own the future by having access, knowledge, and light of the things that will be useful in the future the holy spirit he will show you not just that he would take things that are mine that is already spectacular but he says he will show you things to come 
he will show you things to come things to come let me tell you the things that god is the knowledge that he's bringing please listen these are not necessarily the things that will only benefit us now they are the keys and the patterns that will give us access to the future praise the lord father we bless you and we pray that the entrance of your word will give light and will give understanding to the simple in the name of jesus i pray like never before that what i'm about to share and exhort us on that finally someone will get this thing and that in the name of jesus christ as you get it you will rise like an edifice unhindered you know your time has come not just by the prophecy that comes you know your time has come the light comes to you when light does not come no matter who prophesies your time has not come you will rise and shine not because of prophecy prophecy informs you so you can receive your faith you can release your faith to receive that which is meant for you but it's going to take light to us. hallelujah the law of honor this is one of the deepest spiritual mysteries it is one of the most powerful spiritual laws i know second only to the law of encounter no matter what laws you know in the spirit if you do not know this you will never rise the law of honor pay attention we will listen and then we'll pray teach us your ways oh god make our lives easy by the wisdom that comes in knowing your ways in the name of jesus take away struggles take away hardship from our lives in the name of jesus christ very very powerful i will continue to teach us again and again that this kingdom is a kingdom of mysteries the bible says in matthew chapter 13 and verse 11 it has been given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven we don't reign just by goodwill don't reign just by good intention having a sincere desire is not enough to reign just being a kind and a nice person is not even enough to reign there are many kind and wonderful people who are victims of situations and circumstances it will take light everybody say light you see let me tell you this as god reveals these principles don't just write them on a jotter write them upon the tablet of your heart that if they ask you tomorrow what are the secrets of the kingdom you know you can bring them out i may not know this and this but by god's grace i know this one and i know this one they are irrefutable principles backed up by god's own integrity there is no man there is no policy there is no civilization that will change or corrupt the immutability of these truths it is true believe me when i tell you and god has granted me access by his grace to certain mysteries and principles of all of them i will continue to tell you second only to the law of encounter this is the greatest in terms of value the laws are all powerful and they have their place but they are not equally powerful hallelujah the law of honor the mystery behind very strange open doors the mystery behind the unstoppable lifting and the rising of people the mystery that can in one day end captivity this is the mother that gives birth to favor favor is at the mercy of this knowledge hallelujah two scriptures one first samuel chapter 2 please and verse 30 first samuel chapter 2 and 30 wherefore the lord god of israel said i said indeed that thy house and the house of thy father 
should walk before me forever but now the lord said be it far from me for them that honor me i will honor and they that despise me i will lightly esteem that means trivialize this is god speaking them that honor me i will honor but they that despise me i will lightly esteem the kingdom works based on seed time and harvest that means that there is always a seed every result that we obtain in the kingdom can be likened to a harvest please understand what i'm teaching you i want you to get this law that it is and right when you call every result that you obtain in the kingdom a harvest whether it is healing whether it is deliverance whether it is prosperity whether it is fresh grace activation of the gifts of the spirit whatever dimension it can be called a harvest and that for every harvest there is a seed everybody say seed please say it again seed the bible tells us in genesis chapter 8 and verse 22 when a bread and offering that was well pleasing unto god the lord came and made certain vows backed up by his own integrity and he says as far as the earth remains he says seed time and harvest then he lists all the others shall not cease that means for every harvest you desire you start your journey to actualizing that harvest by knowing what seed produces it are we together now not every seed produces everything there are seeds and harvests that are allocated for those seeds are we together now very very important for instance attention and listening is the seed for learning if you want to learn a harvest knowledge the seed that you sow is your attention my son pay attention not just listen pay attention so attention is a seed and that when you pay attention to anything the harvest that comes is that you will learn about it are we together knowledge in itself a seed for change or transformation you are not transformed by desire you are not changed just by intention it will take not for any change and any transformation to happen there are seeds very very important time is the seed for destiny there is no destiny without time please listen when god wants to give you a destiny he gives you a seed of time the way you sow that time will determine the kind of destiny that you will have that a man's destiny is a multiplication of the seeds of the time are you seeing why time is important that whatever tries to fight your time is not really really fighting your time is fighting your destiny because your time is the seed for your destiny appearance for instance is not only the seed for acceptance it is the seed for perception appearance does not just talk about the clothes you wear alone appearance is the seed for acceptance it is also the seed for perception that means i am at liberty to perceive things about your life based on your appearance if i see a mecca with a white um lab coat and apron and a stethoscope i can perceive that based on that appearance i can't call him a carpenter that is not the appearance of a carpenter are we together now that means that if i can change your perception by changing my appearance it's very very powerful i'm showing you seeds and the harvest that come 
words words are the seeds that carve intentions and thoughts words you use words to paint an intention from you to someone that means if i want to transfer what is in my heart to you the seed i will sow is words if i don't speak right i can create a harvest in you that was not what i intended i'm showing you how these things play are we together now battle is the seed for territory every time you want the harvest of a territory the seed you sow is battle there is no access to a territory without battle are we together friendship is the seed for relationship that he who wants friends must first show himself you must sow that seed of friendship this is very 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 powerful prayer and fasting are the seeds for both personal and corporate revival it's, it's all through scripture that every time you really want to see revival no matter what else you add to the table if there is no prayer and fasting you just added fertilizers without a seed the seed for revival both personal and corporate is prayer and fasting honor is the seed for access please write it down honor don't assume you have heard what i've said don't assume i've taught it so many times just listen very carefully honor is the seed for access that means dishonor is also a seed and there is a harvest that dishonor brings dishonor is the key to barriers the harvest that dishonor brings is a barrier on your way this is powerful many of the breakthroughs we seek in life will come at the instance of the access that we have and i'm teaching you that in the realm of the spirit that every time there is a limitation standing before you then there is a dimension of this law that you must engage otherwise you will remain there if you're with me say amen all failures can be traced to dishonor all without exception all failures in your life and my life can be traced to dishonor a threefold dimension of dishonor dishonor to god dishonor to men dishonor to spiritual principles all failure can be directly traced to dishonor dishonor to god dishonor to men dishonor to principles are we together what then is honor please write this down Generally, honor talks of esteem, esteeming a person or a thing. But let me give you a definition that I've used and I've found very valuable. Honor is the discerning. Please write. The discerning. True honor starts from discernment. The celebration and the rewarding of excellence, of usefulness, of value. Honor is the discerning, the celebration, the rewarding of excellence from the word excel, of usefulness and of value. That means that you have, please come, you have the fortitude to honor first to the degree to which you can discern. It's a spiritual perception that you must have. The ability to discern value. The ability to discern excellence. The word excellence means the fortitude to surpass standards. Are we together now? The ability to discern the use of a person or a thing either to your life or a system. 
is called honor. Please listen very carefully. That means dishonor, on the other hand, means trivializing importance. Dishonor means trivializing value, trivializing usefulness, trivializing a system, a principle, a person. Please write this. I'm so glad that we're learning this even as we prepare for the business session tomorrow. I believe it's going to be a very powerful time. Please pay attention. Listen. Dishonor means to take things or people for granted. Dishonor means to lightly esteem. In 2 Timothy chapter 2, and verse 20 the bible tells us there are certain vessels that are unto dishonor that are unto dishonor they are vessels but they are unto or for dishonor that means a vessel unto honor or a vessel unto dishonor is someone learning something here it is the key to all kinds of access the moment a door closes the key that opens it will be honor to god or honor to men or honor to principles or a combination of all of them are you getting what i'm saying now this is very very powerful and i'm teaching this because many people in our generation do not know that reason why a person can mark time at a realm spiritually in ministry in business in family and so on and so forth because of one word dishonor dishonor is such a serious thing to god and honor is such a serious thing that the entire old testament was a system of creating honor listen very carefully believers I preached a message years ago called commanding results and that was the first time I began to talk about honor and I have watched this Lord change people's lives I've watched it change my own life and I want you to hold on to this Lord tonight like a ladder and let me see the devil that will stop you from rising honor very very powerful the Bible lets us know that honor is required for success honor is required for any and every level of lifting whether it's spiritual listen please whether it is intellectual and all of that when a student sits down in class to listen to a teacher that attention is honor the student sits down he starts by discerning that this man standing before me even if a student is at a higher level are we together now that this man standing before me has paid the price to accumulate the knowledge needed to lift me beyond my position and so the student further demonstrates his honor by placing value on what the lecturer is saying now being out many information may escape his mind he will write them down and follow it through that is honor are we together now this is very very powerful because many believers do not know honor they do not understand honor violate spiritual systems here and there and we continue to become victims although well-meaning Nebuchadnezzar dishonored God and God taught him a lesson that his sovereign power cannot be shared with any man. He turned him to a beast and for seven years, his life was miserable. Are we together now? It's very, very important. There are all kinds of things happening in the body of Christ. And I can tell you the reason why many ministries, many businesses, many destinies, many individuals, some of our well-meaning parents, never had the opportunity to rise one word dishonor 
this law also states that anything you dishonor will diminish in your life anything god man knowledge money anything you dishonor will begin to fade and erode out of your life and anything you consistently honor will begin to magnify in your life it's true we have dishonored men and women of god around the world members have dishonored their pastors and their leaders husbands have dishonored their wives wives dishonored their husbands please listen students have dishonored lecturers lecturers dishonored students we have dishonored men we have dishonored god we have dishonored laws the laws that make for success isn't it amazing the way people believe that they will make impact and have no regard for laws they just hope and think that their lives will magically evolve into the will of god either because they have good intentions or they think that they are not evil no everything is built by laws if it must last it is built by laws a spiritual life is built by laws prosperity is built by laws impact and influence is built by laws evil is built by laws grace of god the lavish disposition of the grace of god upon a man's life is built by laws sustainability of anything is done by laws and if you do not know the laws that are allocated for having access to the hearts of men the hearts of kings especially in this season then you may not rise to certain levels hallelujah dishonor is not only bad dishonor is sin you have to understand this we're not just talking about a concept that is positive or negative dishonor is sin that has real consequences We live in a world where the success and the sacrifices of many can be trivialized within a heartbeat. We don't have regard for the sacrifice spiritually and otherwise of people. I will tell you why people never rise. Because we have not trained ourselves to discern difference. To know that there is a difference between a failure and a success. They are not the same. It's not an insult. It's not being sarcastic. There is a difference between being anointed and not being anointed. There is a difference between being graced and not being graced. It's a difference between being knowledgeable and ignorant. There is a difference between being old and young. There is a difference between being responsible and irresponsible. There is a difference between being spiritual and unspiritual. Do you know this? If you cannot discern it, then you will not know who and what is deserving of honor. Are we together now? This mic is doing something first to my life and then to all of us. Are we together now? My honor to this mic will be to keep the systems that will keep it amplified. Are we together now? If I off this mic, I cannot pretend to not feel the effect. It will do something to me. I may shout, but my voice will pay for it. So honor is the ability to know the difference between using a mic and not using a mic. You must know the effect on your life. There is a difference between living in the favor of God and living outside the favor of God. You cannot say it. No. There is a difference between obtaining help from God and running your life by your strength and by yourself. Those who have known have pieced together the principles and regardless of what men say, let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, learn this that I teach you tonight and watch the self-imposed prophecies of people fall to the ground. Even without saying any prayer on it, the immutability of God's counsel 
backed up by his own name. There is no failure for a man who understands this law. If you ever see failure in a vision, it remains there in the vision. The laws of God will manipulate his life till he succeeds. Honor. One powerful law. This is why many men of God never rise. This is why many ministries never rise. It's not that they don't have revelation. They have many other things, but there's no honor. There are many things that will never rise. They have not trained themselves to know the difference between a good working family and a family that is not working. There are many people who will never be rich and wealthy because they have not discerned that there is a difference between a wealthy man and someone who is not wealthy. Many times we call the sacrifices of people luck or chance. Listen carefully. When you see a young man anointed, vibrant with fire and grace, you just say this guy was lucky. Maybe he just met a man of God and hands were laid on him. That perception that inability to see that people do not just rise by default you don't see a house built and you say wow the winds just put blocks together and added what what creativity from the wind no there are things that are too intentional to be a mistake are you getting what i'm saying now there are certain results that have gone past the realm of guesswork there is a level of excellence. There is a level of intention. There are certain levels of anointing that a man can possess that is no longer guesswork. You have to know what you are doing to get there. It's impossible to get there hoping. No, it's like Olympic or boxing. You fight somebody on the street and have an advantage, but you can't go to the ring and fight someone and convince yourself that all things are possible there is an art to winning in the ring there may not be arts to winning on the street but if you enter a boxing ring the person will tell you there are courses you take you understand anatomy the entire anatomy and physiology to know the parts you can punch and the effects that they create so he looks at you and you are already dead because he has seen all the loopholes and yet you just think he's looking with the eyes of a layman until he gives you punch. Then you will know that there is a difference between a boxer and a man. It's amazing how many people look at successful people and sometimes they are even afraid for them. Ah, I hope he will not fail. Are you joking? Do you think success is that cheap? Success is built on absolutely intentional laws. No great ministry is built just by intention. Please listen, listen. There is no great family as any good father, mother, and well-behaved children. There is a level of family result that it cannot be locked. Cannot be locked. When you come from a family that is tied into witchcraft and all of that, there is a level of result that if you attain, there are things that you have dealt with. It's impossible to cross a certain threshold being under captivity. Everybody say, oh no. My assignment is to train your eyes, to train your spirit, to know that everything is not the same. God is not the same as a shrine. So when you say choose between God and one shrine in your village, you don't have honor. It's dishonor. That perception, when they kept God, the ark, and they kept Dagon, God's jealousy made the difference clear immediately. It's not the issue of God. There's no point to prove you are still God. There's a point to prove. He made sure Dagon fell head on. There are times in life that there are points to prove. There are really points to prove. Is God helping us? Right now, there are people here who have traveled from so far. You have come because of one word, honor. You call it hunger, but it is still honor. Are we together now? Reverend Daniels and his dear wife, let's, let's bless God for them. 
I mean, I was, I was in Eboyi. They are based in Enugu. Great ministry work there. I usually go to minister there. It was them together with some pastors that put the meeting in Eboyi. It was such a great, phenomenal meeting. And as soon as they were done, I returned back and I was surprised to see these people still here. It's called honor. The discernment that there can be more. You don't just act like that. You think first. Do I need this level? Is it really important? With this level or without it, is there an effect in my life? There are things you must think about. If I'm poor or rich, will it create an effect? If your mind says you don't have honor, because you to think that being wealthy and being poor, any one of them can go, is a sign that you are oppressed. Because the Bible, listen, I'm not just talking about money, I'm opening your eyes to something. So if a young man remains at a level spiritually and you don't contend for higher levels of grace and the anointing, it is because you have not honored the relevance of that dimension of grace. You have not perceived that to be greatly anointed is higher than being anointed. How God anointed Jesus, not just that he was anointed, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. So contend for the anointing with an open heart is because you have discerned that the anointing is like money. It is the amount you have that will determine what you can buy. The grace of God upon your life will only solve the problems that are below it. Any challenge that is higher than that grace, you will not be able to purchase those spiritual realities. So the tension for spiritual growth is proof that you are honoring the anointing of the spirit at that level many of you are participating in this this prayer and fast now regardless of the inconvenience many people have been under all kinds of inconvenience yet you endure the name of what you are doing is honor because you know that after seven days you are going to carry something something that no devil will be able to stop and you weighed your convenience you weighed several things and you said the sacrifice was worth it It is honor that will make someone in need of a politician's help sit at his reception from 6 a.m. in the morning and the man says, I'm sorry, I can't see you now. Can you be patient? I'm, I'm traveling, but I'll come back by 9. He says, no problem. And he sits down there for more than 13 hours. And the man returns, ah, your excellency, sir, you are back. Because he knows that no matter how long I wait, it's cheaper than suffering. No matter how long I wait in that place, one favor from that man can change my life. A that foolish man will say, what is there? What is there? And you will go back to recycle your pain once again. We we'll apologize for the inconvenience. There's, there's wind blowing, especially for those outside. Everybody say honor. It is honor that teaches you that an elderly person is not the same as a young person. That no matter how knowledgeable you are, there is an advantage that time and age can provide to men. Are we together now? Yeah. The Shunammite woman saw Elisha passing every time. Elisha was not the only one who was passing every time. But the Bible says she perceived that guy. Mm -mm. There is this... The fact that he was always passing meant that he was always under. He was hearing God all the time and going to execute instructions. And she perceived that this man's coming into my house can provide an advantage. And she said, I will not just tell him come to my house. I will prepare for his coming. So she, she kept watching him. Every time she would see him carrying a book. She didn't ask him, what do you like books? Do you? She kept perceiving and she went and prepared she simulated an environment that to suit him and say sir you are welcome and the man said all right madam you have brought me let me tell you what you brought what is your problem she said i don't have any i live among my people is to tell you the level to which she has shelved that case of having a child 
said, Elisha said, no, you don't bring this kind of grace and your life remains the same. It's an insult to the sacrifice that brought this anointing. I paid the price and I went to Gilgal. I went down to John. I got a double portion. I can't enter your house. You honored me and then I walk out. And then your gate man too enters and walks out. And then anybody, and what then is the difference of the sacrifice? I'm not one of the sons of the prophet. I follow two to the end. Madam, the, the, the grace is crying for him. Give it an assignment. He said, no, 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 no. I'm an influential woman. I love my people. And then he said, I will create one by myself. And the servant said, she doesn't have a child. He said, that's it. Notice she didn't ask for a child. She didn't pray for a child. She only Lord. And the honor found what problem it will solve by itself. There is a realm of honor that you get to that you will have to open your mouth and pray some things. Everybody kept lamenting about the hunger in Samaria. Ah, Samaria were in trouble. I said, you too, you felt the hunger a bit. They said, yes. And out of all the people who were crying, the women and all the people, they noticed that two people were unaffected by that famine. The king and a strange man, he was not crying for bread as if he was not a citizen there and then when they put here a whole nation is suffering and the solution is in the pocket of one man yet he didn't pray he just kept moving his thing around the city this honor kept closing the door until someone provoked that grace provoked that anointing and he said all right by this time tomorrow he didn't say let me go and pray and then i'll see the cloud he said by time he didn't say oh lord god of abraham isaac and jacob i stand as your servant and i call on heaven he said me i make it happen by this time tomorrow let the gates of a nation be open your bible honor is powerful when you honor God, there are things God will do to you that all men will know is only God that can do this. God will do some things and sign his signature like Julius Berger will build and write B so that you will know the difference. So you don't confuse it and think someone else built it. God will build your life and write his name on it. So that when anyone looks at you and say, last year, were you not like this? Say, yes, it's not, I didn't build myself. I was built by an architect. You honor men, you have access to their heart, and with their heart will come their influence, their credibility, their resources. You put pressure on everything they are, and you will leverage on their credibility to rise. Let me tell you, your, your journey will be hard in life if you do not know how to honor men. All men are not the same. Are we together? Someone I know won an election. And as soon as the person won an election, she that works with him just called me and said, he started jumping. Why was the person jumping? He didn't participate. He didn't do anything yet. Already, they've not sworn in that one, but he started jumping. Ah, God has buttered our bread. Because when you honor a man and have access to his heart, you don't have to rise. He just has to rise and you will follow him. Honor it will open doors for you that will surprise you. It will accelerate your life beyond your imagination. Please sit down, sit down. Let me show you for when I was studying this, it struck my heart and the Lord put it in my heart to show you. I'm going to show you four cases in the Bible where honor or dishonor played a role. And let's see what happened. Number one, just four, there are so many, and then I'll give you the and we'll pray. Someone's life is changing. I know this. I know this. Listen, this is one of the laws that you will see the result immediately. There are some laws that you may see the result later. This one, you can start seeing it from this night.
Genesis chapter 9 from verse 20. This was the issue of Noah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Noah and his sons. It says, and Noah began to be a husbandman. And he planted a vineyard. We are reading to 27. And he drank of the wine and was drunken and covered within his tent. Now, there are all kinds of theological debates about this as to what this really meant. It's, it's not, it's not the, 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 the revelation of the context is not what I'm, I'm really interested. I want to show you something. And next verse. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father and told it to his two without. 23. And Shem and Jack took a garment, listen carefully, and laid it on both their shoulders and went backward and covered the nakedness of their father. And their faces were backward and they saw not their father's nakedness. 24. And Noah awoke from wine and knew he was sleeping. He was not told, oh. He woke up and knew that his younger son, he knew what had done to him, 25. And he said, Cursed be Canaan, a servant of servants shall he be unto his brethren, 26. And he said, Remember, he didn't know who did what. And he didn't say, All of you come. Who saw the nakedness and who covered it? That means Noah was not anointed a man that built an ark that all the animals entered is that an ordinary man notice how the bible does not even talk about vineyard and the wine again it just focuses on the cause and the blessing he wakes up from his sleep and just knows that many things happened while he was sleeping the same way you can look at your father and say my useless father if only this man went to school and while you are saying it he's sleeping but there are laws listen to me listen to what i'm telling you these are laws and ordinary none of the sons he didn't call an assembly and say okay tell me what happened and he said daddy this is what happened no he got up and then he said blessed be the lord god of shem and Enan shall be his servant 27 god shall enlarge japhet and he shall dwell in the tents of shem and Canaan shall be his servant. End of discussion. What was the offense? Dishonor. Someone dishonored Noah. Another person honored Noah. Two of them instantly got rewards for it. I told you honor is a seed. It's a seed that grows fast like a weed. Number two. Now, this one, you have a lot to learn here. Genesis chapter 16. Ah, the Lord opened my eyes to see something there. Genesis chapter 16. This is the story of Sarah and Hagar. Please look up and learn something powerful here. And now, Sarah, Abraham's wife, bear him no child. Notice that all these stories start with something that looks like a problem. And then in the midst of it, the problem is forgotten. And then the context of honor or dishonor is the discussion. And he said, and she had a handmaid, an Egyptian, whose name was Hagar, verse 2. And Sarah said unto Abraham, behold now, the Lord had restrained me from bearing. I pray thee, go into my handmaid, that it may be that I may obtain children by her. Now you have to study in Jewish practice to know. This was not anything unusual at those times. Your brother's wife could bear children for you and maids and all of that. So and abraham hearkened to the voice of sarai verse 3 notice and sarai abraham's wife took hagar her maid the egyptian after abraham had dwelt 10 years and so on and so forth and gave her to her husband abraham to be his wife verse 4 and he went into hagar and she conceived and when she saw that she had conceived her mistress was despised in her eyes notice the story this was a girl that was brought and then he said Todd, since i'm not able to give you a child let me not be too selfish that is because of me based on that tradition now here is my housemaid have a child with her and at the moment the lady noticed she was pregnant something happened next verse and sarah said unto abraham my wrong be upon me 
I have given my maid into thy bosom. And when she saw that she had conceived, I was despised in her eyes. Watch this. The Lord judged between me and thee. Next verse. But Abraham said to Sarah, Behold, thy maid is in thy hand. Do with her as it pleased thee. And Sarah dealt hardly with her. She fled from her face. Now get ready to learn the lesson. And the angel of the Lord. So Sarah drove Hagar now. Are you getting the story now? And the angel of the Lord found her by the fountain of water in the wilderness. By the fountain in the way of shore. Eight. And he said, listen. Hagar, Sarah's maid. When comest thou. What did the angel call her? Sarah's maid. We know the protocol even from the spirit. Just because you have a child. I will call you by that ordinance you are still sarah's maid your lifting was connected to sarah and even though you have left the realm of the spirit still recognizes that this lifting was tied sarah he says whence camest thou and whither will thou go and she said i flee from the face of my mistress sarah look at this and the angel of the Lord said unto her, what did he say? Return to thy mistress and submit yourself under her hands. In other words, madam, there's no hope for your situation. Honor has closed the door, not even me. My recommendation is go back. Let that submission be in place. Otherwise, I'm meeting you here, I will see go like that. This is Bible. Return to your mistress. And submit yourself to her last verse <laughs> and the angel of the Lord said unto her I will multiply thy seed exceedingly that it shall not be numbered for multitude go back every other thing is still tied to that go back and submit yourself look at this kind of story a woman is running away and an angel meets her and she's complaining that this wicked and the Bible testifies that Sarah truly dealt with her hardly he would have said go and tell sarah you saw me i the angel of the lord has said she should mind herself and he says go back to your mistress i'm showing you very deep spiritual you will now know why elisha received the mantle number three numbers chapter 12 follow me believers and let's grow in the spirit numbers chapter 12 this involved relatives now relatives relatives because this honor happens a lot with family and so relatives and miriam and aaron spoke against moses because of the utopian the word utopian means black woman whom he had married for he had married an utopian woman verse 2 and they said had the lord now they now digress and started saying does god speak to moses alone had the lord indeed spoken only by moses and had he not also spoken by us i hope you know miriam is a prophetess that means she was hearing god and aaron was a priest too so they are saying why i mean moses what are you saying i am a prophetess and this guy is a priest us too here and there we are hearing god and the lord had it and the lord had it what conversation two of them were talking you know and while they were talking god said let me see what i'm saying and the lord had it next verse now the man moses was very meek above all the men which were upon the face of the earth verse 4 and the lord spake suddenly to moses hey God comes to hear something and goes back and says, Moses, come. Something is about to happen to two of your relatives now. Let me inform you so that you don't beg me. I'm the one who is going to do it now. God knew what Moses can do. And he knows if Moses talks, he will interrupt the process. He's collecting permission from Moses to deal with certain people here. And Moses and unto Aaron and Miriam, come out ye three to the tabernacle of the congregation. And three of them came out. Three of them hear God, remember. So now verify that they all hear God. Because God called three of them and all of them had. Next verse. 
and the lord came down in the pillar of cloud and stood in the door of the tent and called aaron and miriam and they both came forward and and he said hear now my words if there be a prophet among you i the lord will make myself known to him in a vision and will speak unto him in a dream seven hi my servant moses is not so who is faithful in all my house one day i will explain to you what god just said next verse with him i will speak mouth to mouth that look look you people receive visions and dreams but i've left that realm with moses i don't just i come to him my level of relationship with moses is that i come to him and speak from my mouth to his mouth and not in dark speeches and in similitudes of the lord shall he behold wherefore then were ye not afraid to speak against not me my servant moses next verse and the anger of the lord was kindled against them and he left next verse and the cloud departed from off the tabernacle and behold miriam became leprous white as snow and aaron looked upon miriam and behold she was leprous 11. next verse and aaron said unto moses alas my lord the adjustment happened immediately i don't know what i called you before but after seeing this class alas my lord i beseech thee was this not what haman did to esther when it was imminent that he was going to die i beseech thee lay not the sin upon us wherein we have done foolishly and wherein we have sinned i told you dishonor is a sin next verse let her not be as one dead of whom the flesh is half consumed and when he cometh out of his mother's womb 13 and moses you see why god came to moses before and moses now said god oh yeah come come i've, I've looked at this and moses cried unto the lord saying heal her now oh god i beseech thee look at a man talking with god oh not oh god heal her now god is okay don't 14 and the lord said to moses if her father had but spit in her face should she not be ashamed seven days he says let her be shot out from the camp seven days and after that let her be sieved in again last verse miriam was shot out of the camp seven days and the people journeyed not until miriam was brought in again you can continue she later recovered but i'm saying just because a man that god loved the jealousy of god came down dishonor the same way you can honor a man in secret he's not even aware and god will also hear it and see it and god will arise and deposit something upon your life are you getting blessed very powerful the last scripture and then i'll show you certain keys second kings chapter 2 second kings chapter 2 from verse 3 elisha was in in the heat of the anointing the portion anointing that just rested on him now this one now had to do with children sometimes ba is really really strange this is children and he went forth from thence unto Bethel and as he was going by the way there came forth what little children should they not be spared little children there came forth little children out of the city and mocked him saying go up thou bald head go up thou bald head 24 and he turned back and looked on them and cursed them in the name of the lord and there came forth two shares out of the wood and tear forty and two of them he cursed them in whose name is it not the same god that said the lord is gracious and compassionate slow to anger but rich in love small children what are not ah, no problem these are little children they are learning and yet he turns to them and curses them in the name of the lord and bears come out and injure and children 
think how many things honor can do in your life and how many things dishonor can do in your life dishonor to the law of giving alone has kept a lot of people poor dishonor to productivity has kept a lot of people seeing visions of wealth that will never actualize let me tell you this please listen and this is a message to the body of christ there is a growing trend of many young vibrant ministers especially apostles and prophets all around the nation of africa and the world who because of civilization and the context of our understanding today are consistently violating this calling the name of every man of god tearing men of god down in the name of i know this i know that destroying all kinds of people let me tell you the laws of god are irrefutable it's only a matter of time you will see grave consequences the people i pity are the children of these people not even them they are endangering their children not knowing and some of you here have been victims of it you stand whether on social media whether whatever tear down anybody insult anybody you see a rich man getting private jet you write nonsense online stupid criminals we are coming for you you see a man anointed and the next thing you are saying something really nasty how are we sure it's the power of God? And while that is happening, God is hearing. He's bringing down, because the covenant of that man with God has a voice. It's an altar that is maintained by sacrifice. Please listen very carefully. I'm teaching you powerful spiritual principles. Many shop owners have insulted everybody succeeding. As though it's the reason why they are not succeeding. And their shop started down. And notice that the more they pray, the more it goes down. Because that trouble didn't come from Satan. So there is nothing to cast there. I've seen men of God who went down. And their voices almost never heard again. Because of the level, the pungency of their criticizing all kinds of people. Today everybody right now is an analyst of the body of Christ analyzing what is happening analyzing who is anointed analyzing this and that is dangerous listen to me listen to me these are spiritual principles nobody rose up just like that it's the same way they criticize william branham just because things went bad at the end of his and all of that people would tear down people had written all kinds of books and his grace is not speaking around the body of christ because of that pungency listen very carefully those who may not have crowd will tear down anybody and say it's the issue of crowd what is their membership sometimes those things come from a standpoint of sarcasm and God, who is the one who brings men is hearing and then we secretly go back and we say god must we remain like this and god said me i'm the force behind this lack of growth how many unemployed people will see someone and say what are you doing now he said, I'm working in one school. He said, ah, you. It's better to have been making a kunua zobo to sell. You mean you are right there. You see that? You think it's a joke. But God is hearing. That you have never submitted your CV and gotten a job. And someone without submitting his CV, he got a job. I agree that he's getting 4,000. But because we have learned dishonor. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Yes our lives we continue to web our lives with all kinds of strings of dishonor there are people who have refused to rise because of this one reason dishonor honor is the key to access and they never access grace they never access wisdom there are many wealthy people in this city for instance and there are not many people who have gone to sit down and say i came to visit you sir is there one or two things you can teach me say no everybody's a thief everybody's an arm robber and they continue to re-impart upon themselves that level forever please listen to what i'm teaching you those who have understood this have risen in ways that you cannot imagine 
happy are you when God carries the heart of a man and gives to you that God connects you huh, to the heart of a man through honor is somebody learning something so when you master honor when you learn honor you will see doors opening by themselves there are men of God who were invited to certain places once and will never go back there again because they did not understand the principle of honor to these systems when they and took advantage of anything and just tore everybody down there are some of you who come to the houses of great people and you destroy your opportunity for connection forever you come to a house and you cross your leg you put it on a chair and you just balance and the next thing uh what, what would you like uh, i don't take too much pepper what exactly do you have let me know what you have and the person who is for is just an example the person who is talking is poor and doesn't have any open door are you seeing that now let me tell you this if doors refuse to open i am telling you this it is dishonor that has kept it closed I never see any man or woman that is worthy of honor and will not communicate the honor that is due because I know the consequence. There are many people in this city who would have been long healed by now. There are many people who would have been long delivered by now. But this honor is the gate and the padlock the devil used to keep them in their situations forever. You can pray, you can fast, but there are certain realms you cannot enter except through honor. Honor is the seed for access. The Lord by honor and by heat has taken me to places today that I know there is no reason and there is no other way I would have gotten there. What honor can do is powerful. My brothers and my sisters, listen to me. You will step into prepared blessings when you understand honor. honor to God honor to men honor to principles I'm not teaching you human worship now let me tell you this and, and let me balance it very quickly it is foolish and stupid of any great man especially a man of God when people show you honor and you take them for granted any wise person who knows God and has value for life will not take you for granted when you honor them what I'm saying now yes There are things people do to me that I'm, if I have my way, I will beg them and say, please, don't, don't even, please. I'm okay. I know you honor me from your heart. The Lord bless you. Let's leave it like that. But that you dishonor men and you want to rise, every realm you dishonor, you've exempted yourself from entering that realm. Whether it's financially, whether it's spiritually or otherwise. See, listen, this is why you find out that you continue to dishonor people and secretly try to enter that realm. And there is a resistance that no prayer will take away. Apostle, you don't know what my father did to me. My, my father is not a nice man. You don't know what my mother did. These people left me. I would have died. I would have gone into prostitution. I paid school fees by myself. Now they think that I should come and bless them. Listen, let me tell you. They may not have gotten it well, but it is no license for dishonor. They may do everything wrong, but one day they will do something right. Pay for that one day because the blessing you will get the day they get it right will follow you transgenerationally hallelujah i pay attention there are ministries that honor me so much and honor me truly and i have seen the effect when i teach and share god's word in those places i see the result i know that the honor is sincere and you will see that those people receive those people rise those people grow that's why in many churches it is us that come and receive most members hardly you know why because they know the pastor they know the elder maybe he's even their biological father so when he's preaching and he says everybody stretch forth your hands you just laugh and say daddy you will soon be hungry now he's, i'm the one who prepares your meal 
and then God will hear you how many wives dishonor their husbands because they are already married Sam Cop. they think that just because they are married they dishonor when they get married they do all kinds of things nice two weeks after the marriage the man is just one one item I am joined with forever and God is hearing because the possibilities and the grace of that man will speak to every other person except the wife the same thing with the woman men will get married to women and think they are just rags the bible says submit go and do this whereas the man is not prayerful and that lady came as the reason even god told you that she's the reason why you are succeeding then the day you annoy her everything fails you go to god and god says like he told hagar go back you may not submit to the woman but you must submit to that possibility if you want a revival of that dimension Are you getting what I'm saying now? This is true. I am a product of what honor can do. I am a product of what honor can do. I am a product of what honor can do. Listen, you will not be able to dig every well by yourself, no matter how hardworking you are. Your lifetime is too small to dig those wells. There are wells that have already been dug. Those wells like Jacob's well will last generations use honor as a fetcher to draw and draw again enough to feed you and feed a generation jesus went to a city and could not do mighty miracles what simple is this not the carpenter's son but there was a blind man when he was passing jericho for the last time he says thou son of david have mercy he didn't say can you have mercy mm -mm. i know you have it have mercy you oh. you won't pass me have mercy and jesus said what should i do for you that i may regain my sight and his eyes open i continue to search for dishonor around my life so that i will correct it very fast i tell you any door that is closed there's something there is an element of dishonor that may be there if you are sincere why oh god am i surrounded by anointed people and i can never carry real grace dishonor why am i surrounded by wealthy people and i continue to remain poor dishonor why am i surrounded by wise people and i continue to be foolish again and again why am i surrounded by people who are on fire and there's no revelation they give you any scripture you can't say anything about it notice the gate men of men of god notice the chefs they don't have any revelation as if all they came to do was to cook can't you see the visitors that you are cooking for their lives are being changed and you continue to serve the food and receive tips whereas one day you say sir this chef i'm 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 is, is passion but i need results i've served your food now but i need something are you getting what i'm saying when i meet extremely great people i don't waste that time i don't sit down and say and sometimes ah my apostle great man and great this i just find a forum where we're alone and find a seat and say sir i decide i don't just say pray for me that's a stupid approach that's not honor you will never receive anything that way you must discern i know the difference between you and me the results show it i am not there yet simple and straightforward and i beckon on whatever grace that brought this result and with a passionate heart they will release everybody that has something knows it and they know when it leaves them to you hallelujah praise the lord this ministry is enjoying the blessings of the body of Christ because of the honor of the body of Christ. I say this with all blessings. We don't have a YouTube channel as it were. I don't know if the media has that. But there is almost no message you will type and you will not find. Someone took it as a responsibility without payment. It is because a sinner was sown. And so it was sown to the body 
and the harvest also came from the body are you getting what i'm telling you now when it was time to, for the sick here this morning many of you came and you watched a benihim video first it doesn't mean i'm not anointed to pray for you but i know from whence you see let me tell you a river that forgets its source truly speaking you will dry up it's a matter of time you will dry up to nonsense and and not know where you came from again our proud generation continues to have results for a while and then it will disappear because the moment you have results most times people don't know the difference again somebody trained you in business now you have become a millionaire and you come to meet the person in the shop bros are you there you are an apprentice there and you come with your g-wagon and smile you have a g-wagon i have a g-wagon don't harass me i just came back from italy that's a foolish man one day you will not know the explanation why things will go down and you will go to god and he will give you the recommendation of hagar go back you are a great man but in the realm of the spirit you are still sarah's maid the law of honor the law of honor i shared with you my story that i wanted to go to the u.s to go and scrub the toilet of charles and francis hunter as a man of god not to go for a conference not to say just to let you know that there is a young man all the way from nigeria is by the name joshua selman is my humble self is that humility i was going to scrub the toilet not to go as a man of god oh i would have gladly scrubbed that toilet lord whatever grace will make a man to raise hundred wheelchairs in one meeting laugh at it whatever grace this is the law of honor many people don't know how to receive miracles when i talk like this you would think it's arrogance if i get up in the morning with my eyes blind by 6 p.m that eyes must have been open the desperation to receive is not there many people are too ashamed to really receive the woman with the issue of blood said get out of my way i'm the one who knows what i'm suffering shift let me touch the hem of his garment and the people were trying to embarrass her no let me touch the hem of his garment she was healed. Don't violate this ordinance. Let me give you a few keys. Our time is gone. We should pray. I pray in the name of Jesus that you will value this that I shared with you. And you will watch how easy life can be. Keys to honor. One, wisdom. There cannot be honor until there is wisdom. You need a deposit of divstone to manifest honor. Wisdom to know the protocol of greatness. Vashti was a foolish woman for one reason. She lacked wisdom. It was her wisdom that culminated to dishonor that made her pay the price there is no record of vashti going back to beg the king she forgot she was only queen because she married the king are we together no wisdom the king called on her to his chamber to come and flaunt the glory and she said no i have my own agenda and the elders came and said king do something about this woman if not other women will start doing the same thing and the king said vashti you are gone when sarah came study the book of sarah and see honor personified what most people see there is favor you are seeing the child look at the mother look at how the pregnancy started until the child called favor was born she meets the king on hearing that a wicked man called her man wants to destroy the people of god and the king said esther what do you want to half of my kingdom she said nothing oh king would you grant me the honor of hosting you to a banquet he said that is it 
is there any problem she said no yet there was an emergency lives were about to be she knew that in dealing with greatness timing matters not every time is the time you can just see your destiny help and say anything for the boys immediately he planned to give you a job because of that he will vow that your children's children will not get a job timing there are many people as soon as you see a great man the next thing you come sir uh, anything for us sir whereas the man was about to ask you young man what do you do we are looking for a secretary is it all right if we send you to our dubai office and you foolishly come with mediocrity and say sir you are looking as if i'm not so bad, but will you go like that you see stop that every time you see a great man your first element is not to beg listen to me and learn many young people continue to mess up you want one thousand they will give you one thousand yet you have lost access to their hearts are we together esther now tells the king let me host you he said all right let me come and try and esther prepared a permit me to use the word a wicked banquet when the king ate this she came again he said now i'm ready is there any request say no sir just grant me the privilege of doing this again and then another time she now said now i want it to be a feast of wine you know wine is a spirit in the bible she's about to make a request and she's making a request against the closest friend of the king what if the king says you want me to fight my friend i will kill you she knew the timing there was something that needed to happen for him because her man was his right hand man so when the king took the wine he was filled with that wine and he sat down and then she came what do you want esther and she said oh king there is a man who that wants to destroy me your one and only queen and my woman he said who is that he said that is the man that stands by your side wise king he left and went to a garden he didn't answer yet he left and went to the garden because the word of a king is a law and he said let me think first let me not talk foolishly will this decision be honorable many times silence is proof of wisdom you don't have to be under pressure to answer everything is god helping someone today you sweep it do it again by the second day do it again by the third day very soon somebody will call you and say why are you doing this you say well i i plan to have this kind of thing i'm a responsible person i have learned on i just feel i should do this every great man knows greatness when it even if it is in infancy they will look and say mm -mm, you they won't make you a manager they'll say okay keep sweeping a wise man will not call you immediately he will test the sincerity of your honor you will say continue doing it just to know you are not a thief that's all and then he says watch this person and for six months you will sweep with nobody saying thank you but on the seventh day of ah, you know how bible talks you will come to sweep and see a car with a key and a letter inside open me say ah, i won't do this so i'm not a thief and you open it and that's the prayer request of someone for 10 years there is a key to every territory it's called honor you are sandwiched between people who are greater than you and people who you are greater than if you keep receiving honor from those who are greater than everybody will reach your level and leave you 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 have to keep rising too while you bring others up are you getting what i'm telling you yes there is no program that is done in this ministry that i will not sow into it this ministry is a blessed ministry but even at that, I must look for something and sow into it. Principles. When your prayer life goes down, is dishonor. Because it's proof that you are trying to show God you are the Lord of your own life. And he's watching. You get up in the morning, you yawn your way through a life. You return back by the mercy of God and you will not understand that he kept you. You will continue on till the day keke almost capsizes you and then you will remember the scripture it is vain to wake up early and sleep night only to eat the bread of sorrow but it is god that gives men sleep and rest you will return back and say god i don't know what entered me but i'm back oh no 
we are going to pray wisdom number two let me rush it i apologize for taking our time this night the second key to honor is forbearance you cannot practice honor if all you have is forgiveness forbearance is a deeper dimension forbearance means it will happen again so you wire it into your system of honor that this person i honor is a noise maker i don't like noise but i have to prepare my mind to hear noise all the it's called forbearance adaptation is proof of honor the greater one will not be the one to be flexible and adjust to you you are the one who will have to stretch yourself are we together forbearance many of you cannot forbear great people let me give you a very big secret great people are difficult people the complexity around the systems that work in their life will not only need wisdom it will need forbearance there are many yeses you have to say without knowing what you are doing forbearance i'm not a fool i can't continue to do a mumu in this office i'm fighting for my rights and they say open the gate for him please leave this place after two months you find out that you had one stream of income coming by the mercy of god and an erratic dishonor of five minutes is costing your children school fees forbearance everybody say forbearance a lot of pentecostals have lost graces in the orthodox circle because they don't have the forbearance you go to an anglican church and there's a long hymn you check how many verse stanzas six and the man leading will tell you when we get to verse five we'll sing it again he's enjoying what he said and you are you are sad you are you are nauseated you are angry you are already offended you're off by everything the chance and all of that whereas there was a grace there for you to get to forbear to forbear to forbear is not to forgive to forbear is to wire yourself to update everything number three the third key to honor is to pray for those you seek to receive from you don't pray for a man you seek to receive from you will not get anything let me tell you many people don't pray for those who they seek to receive from pray just by praying for them alone job 42 and verse 10 you pray for those who have gotten the friends of job were not oppressed he was wealthier and greater than them but with respect to his predicament they had become greater than him and he had to submit to honor them by investing prayer job 42 and verse 10 he says the lord turned the captivity of job when he prayed for his friends not himself number four genuinely celebrate those you honor not eye service not ah bless god for papa Oyedepo. bless god for papa and then you go to one godless discussion of three or four people he said don't oh, mind all these fathers of faith i'm so disappointed I, I i hate them more it's just that if you say it now they will beat you so that's the real truth i really hate them but it's just that outside let me honor them no like noah they may be asleep but they are still seeing and they are still hearing and they will wake up and know who said what and who didn't say what sight happens whether you are asleep or awake paul was blind for three days yet he was seeing visions celebrate celebrate a ministry that is blessing you celebrate it a life that is blessing you celebrate that life genuinely celebrate them finally love the last key to genuine honor is love you cannot honor a man a principle a system and even the god that you do not love 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 i love the body of christ i love koinonia i love the workers i love the leaders from the depth of my heart and it has nothing to do with selfishness
I wish we had time. I wish we had time. I wish we had time. Do you know the Bible says, listen carefully. All that I've said about honor suggests to higher authorities. But that's only one dimension of honor. Because you also have to honor people prophetically who are about to rise. You don't just honor those who have risen. They have plateaued and you have seen it. But there are people who are about to rise. You will need discernment. 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 Many of us will dishonor everybody lower than you. And everybody who cannot give you anything. Sam, what do you have to offer? Nothing. I, please, you are not worth my honor. Emeka, you are a doctor. I, I need injection because I don't know where my leg is. Like I don't. I, I honor you. Wonderful except for the fact that you have registered your exit from sam's life before he rises the moment he rises he rises with you he has noted you that you qualify for exit from his life so the secret therefore and the jackpot is to honor all men because god is the lifter of men my brothers and my sisters you can you see me or little children here they come and match my cloth and sometimes the protocol wants to stop them i say leave it oh this debt they are matching they will buy the soap tomorrow they have the ability there are many of you who cannot play with children there are many who you 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 can dishonor and oppress anybody lower than you once anybody is higher than you you can lie down and roll on the ground but when there is anybody who doesn't have anything as of yet to give to you you destroy them you are making a big mistake the key to owning the future is to honor those who god is lifting for the future and jimmy will say it this way find a man who is rising and in that life listen let me tell you this you know there are many people who believe that just because they knew you and they were connected it means they are stakeholders no connection is not enough to be a stakeholder it must translate from a connection to an event relationships that are investments are the relationships that are worth maintaining an ordinary connection is not worth it an investment of time of resources imagine the people that knew you they don't know what god is doing in your life now they are looking at the you of five years and there is nothing comely there except for the fact that it will be like the twinkling of an eye one day they will be following on facebook and say ah, who is this you as though they ask god not to lift you and then you suddenly rise and you watch the way they casually and shamelessly call you it is so 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 and so call me back quickly no the person you want to call is not there again this is a newer version if your relationship was not an investment that could grow then it didn't yield anything are you getting what i'm saying the easiest way to prosper is through relationships but relationship as an investment not a connection this is already a preview of tomorrow relationship as an investment not a connection this is what reverend dan and his wife are doing these are general overseers they left a boy and they left enugu not only to come and receive let me tell you it's not every time you need to receive there are times that you have to invest whether you are comfortable or not politicians know this business people know this someone will leave kenya and leave south africa to come for the birthday party of a two-year-old baby what has the baby done for him what of the hand that holds the baby that's where his paycheck comes from Are we together so the woman with the alabaster box discerned that this man will one day be the king of kings and i have a terrible life what can i do to edge my relationship in this man's life and she took a a, a, a what they call it a box spike a yes wages and she did something she knew it would not be easy for any other person to do she smashed it at his feet and used her hair and Jesus said, anytime you are talking about me and the gospel, you must make reference to this woman. When we get to heaven, you will know that you will not just see the difference. It's in the Bible. I mean, it's in the Bible. There are rankings based on relationships.
relationship. This is your Bible. The elders in heaven there, the 24 living creatures, what did they do to God? That keeps them in the throne. The angels in the throne. They only go and get messages and leave. But there are creatures that stay. from connections to investments you send a text may God bless you daddy may God bless you mommy they don't reply continue an investment you do returns immediately but it's working the day they are looking for good people to bless your sacrifice is too much you to be ignored hallelujah there are several men of God that is difficult for me to tell them no even when my schedules are already booked, if they do come, I will try to tell them, find a way. Even if it's a weekday, let's squeeze. Even if it's one day, no problem. Let me honor them. Because of what they have done. There are people when I see their missed calls, provided I have the time, even if it's two minutes, I can even squeeze and just send a text and say, I'm sorry. I may not be able to talk to you now, but I'll reply you. On a debt, it forces you to pay back. We are gathered here for seven days. And if God does not change our lives, you can activate this system. Try it this night. Write down the five or ten people in your life that are most deserving of your honor. And write down the top ten people in who make you a big deal. Anybody that makes you a big deal, don't trivialize them. Because the whole world does not have that level of honor. If you make me a big deal, I will invest into your life. Make God a big deal and see what he does to you. Is somebody learning now? Yes. When you find anybody in your life that thinks you are somewhat celebrating and makes you a big deal, be wise enough to separate them. And let me tell you this. Never give people access beyond their last level of honor. Don't make your life that cheap. As you give people access, watch for the honor that follows. If the closer they get, the more the honor goes down. Stop there. Stop from the last place of honor and remain there. God is the one who prescribed this. What you do in my parlor may qualify you for my kitchen. May qualify you for my bedroom then may qualify you to my safe you don't come from the gates there are visitors that you look through the pigeon hole and say why are you here say i just need help you squeeze one thousand and say please go it's not it's not insult it's the level of relationship there are others you can open the gate and say okay what is it you say can't we get a shade and you have not that shade you see has a, a dimension there are others you say you are welcome there are others you say you are welcome as far as you want don't believe that everybody has the same access listen to me anybody that dishonors you don't fight them but peg them at the last place of honor and keep it there until there is a reason to transit and some of them sadly sadly may be people in ministry people in whatever kind of thing refuse that Is someone learning this otherwise you would destroy yourself somebody will come and meet you and say give me a business advice you gave him a business advice yesterday and the person trivialized it made nonsense out of it when he was teaching it he didn't give credit and honor to you and felt it was not an issue then he says give me another one he said no no let your honor qualify you for the next access when you find people who the closer they come to you the higher the honor treasure them they are an endangered species the world does not have many of such people these are kingdom secrets my brothers and my sisters you should share the grace tonight knowing that a real key was given to you go to your office tomorrow and you see people who are undeserving of your honor and you will see the mistakes you have been making you told people secrets about your life. 
secrets about your family secrets about your destiny secrets about certain things and they have no fortitude for honor everybody say honor this is a powerful law powerful law to the degree to which you honor God he will bring you into his inner chambers he will say come let me show you the things you will not hear in a congregation come my son let me show you my ways these are the secrets of the Lord that are with them that fear him and he will show you not his principles his covenants there are many of us we would have received certain things from our parents and our loved ones but sadly some of them went to the grave with secrets they never told you because dishonor made it difficult to get it across to you if this is all you know you have found something that can make you great god loves everybody but not everybody is his friend read your bible he didn't say you all are my friends mm -mm. i died for you yes you are my children yes i'm your lord yes but there are people he says you are my friend moses come to talk with you how are you today and he talks back to him he came in the cool of the day to talk to adam and talk to eve when dishonor happened he said that's it i preach we're going to pray this night lord i found the key i found the key this is the kind of meeting that afterwards you will send your pastors tonight and say pastor sir let me teach you how to honor in one minute many of you don't know how to honor god bless you for me sir it's not honor there are many people who have blessed my life just to let you know you are one of them that's foolishness that's not honor the goal of honor is to show someone that you perceive their uniqueness and the extent of their impact so you are going to within the context of the honor isolate them and give them an experience that will make you remain desirable in their eyes are we together just you know i'm blessed by your message commanding result thanks that's not honor that's expression honor must carry your discernment through it transfer your discernment to words and communicate it Sam I just want to let you know that I am grateful there are so many worshipers and so people but there's something about your voice and the grace of God upon your life every time you raise that song my spirit is lifted the other day you raised a song you didn't know what I was what was happening to me that's honor he may forget what you said but he will mark your face the next time he sees your face he will associate it with pleasantness and you become his friend there are people whose persona reflect pungency people avoid you because of a track record of what your persona and your face creates in people it must change that one is not an evil veil it's a self-inflicted veil as a result of not discerning the law of honor every time i see this my children they honor me and you see how i i hug all of them from the depth of my heart there was one day one of the other ones wanted to just come and hug and pat me in the back and i drew his ears i said don't do that again you are a child when you grow we'll let you know you have grown now you are a child when you are hug hug with respect You will be doing it because of my ego. It's a training. If not, you will lose touch. With Don't be afraid to correct people. Really love them. Sometimes we think that when you correct people, it's a proof of insecurity. Let them not say maybe they are rising. No. What then is the... If when you have labored over people, you are a stakeholder over their growth. There's nobody staying under my roof and under my care, physically or spiritually, that will go out of the boundary of discipline and correction. No. You choose to be a fugitive like a prodigal son, you will go. But provided you are within that house, there is a level of decorum that you should have. Is God blessing us? Yes. Teach your children to honor. Let a grown child not come and slap a visitor. 
hold him knock his head in front of the visitor and say the bible says honor your father and your mother forget the cry that is happening the message is getting in whenever you see a man that has done what you have not done don't think it was a mistake have the fortitude to give that respect those who those who fight kung fu you go to most of these places where they fight kung fu these temples you will see bruce lee's picture is still there they stand and they respect it before they start fighting the man is long gone but they say don't deceive yourself that because you're a black belter you are bruce lee bruce lee was in a class of his own but there are bills now there are people every man of god is the same same holy spirit same god until your results prove otherwise honor does not kill honor does not reduce honor multiplies honor fast tracks listen to me my dear ladies let me tell you this master honor and you would have mastered the key to any man's heart gentlemen let me teach you this master honor will master the key to both the hands and the resources and the credibility of any man there are people i can endorse and i can stake my reputation even if they are wrong i will step in for them because they have communicated honor are we together tonight we are going to pray our time is gone but it's worth it this is this is the kind of meeting that will change your life that you will leave this place knowing that something has happened you didn't just come to fast and pray for nothing is someone ready to pray i'd like you to stand up and just think for one minute we're praying just for about five minutes but don't pray just 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 in the quietness of your spirit i want you to think of the doors that can open right now when you practice this law the Lord connected you to a consular officer. You would have had free access to visas if you maximize that moment and honor the person. You dishonor the person only for you to go and get a visa. You find out that it was him. One day you met with a CEO in a shopping mall. You didn't maximize the moment. Now you are low a job and you suddenly realize the person is the CEO. And the words that you spoke that day now stands against you. I want you to think carefully the doors that would have opened oh lord i would have gotten that project so you gave it to me but dishonor retrieved it back from think of the levels of the anointing that you would have been working in right now it's not a very difficult thing for men to speak good about your life it's not a difficult thing for people to say lift this person lift this person lift this person but dishonor killed it does the influence of great people matter to you does the track record and the relationships they have does it matter to you do you think god can use it to lift you does the anointing of a genuinely anointed man matter to you do you think when that grace leaves you your life will change is discernment i'm not teaching you human worship i'm teaching you to begin to interpret things and people honor you find a way of reciprocating it back learn this today don't just collect honor don't just collect honor ah this apostle joshua selman take a seat kneel down lie down roll on the ground no as they sow that seed from it sow it back so that you create a harvest if children honor you honor them back if your contemporaries honor you honor them back if those above you honor you honor them back if those below you honor you honor them back let it be a system of honor you will look like a fool for a while you will look cheap for a while until the results separate you in a cadre that is incontestable you become the song in the mouth of every great man everyone is looking for a chance to lift you the way people call me all the time apostle is there something we can do for you apostle is this and that and i say i'm okay god is faithful can i and i say ah this is the honor honor when people think about you what comes to them is it the desire to lift you is it the desire to bless you let me tell you this 
this gentleman you see come kenny this kenny you are seeing this boy you see served for years this kenny will cook for me and do a lot of things as you are seeing many things happen around his life and he still made up his mind and i knew that i said this guy is going to be a great man of god one day i'm telling you this it's not just because he's here you see that gradually gradually god began to lift him in the grace of god upon his life almost every great man in this street that you see that you desire there is the story of their lifting except your own you want to route your lifting through a window an angel of justice will keep you there and say go back it doesn't happen that way it is only thieves that enter through the window there are people who are too big to serve in a department you can see shadrach where is he this is come this is the pastor of shadrach is the pastor of um of living word and he's one of the protocol people pastor francis is outside the assistant pastor this big man is in for nonsense without result is a cause from hell when you come and see great people serving let it be a lesson that you open your heart and say god whatever must land upon my life let it land let me tell you scattered in this ministry are men and women who have their own ministries and their own groups the grace upon their lives even some overseers don't have it yet they come and you see them quiet they just sit down there are people who come here and want to inconvenience everybody to say i'm around who do you think you are who sit down there and listen and learn so that when they rise tomorrow you don't say it's luck they love this my dear people and honor them you see me give them the right of way to do certain things and sometimes you are wondering is because honor has been proven when your honor has been proven the access becomes unlimited sometimes there can be something to do i can just sit back and allow them to be doing it and sometimes i come and i say no no no, let them continue there is a reason for it who knows you and whose track your who who has a testament of your track record there is nobody that rises from nowhere you are the lord of yourself a boss of yourself i shared with you my story that I played keyboard for Reverend Emmanuel Amechi for many years. Many years. No payment, no nothing. My own keyboard, I will carry it and trek to the hotel and play. The only thing I was ever given was one bottle of Fanta and one cassette. Oh no. When you sow that seed, then there is a grace you must carry. When you sow that seed, there is wealth that you must carry. Are you ready to pray? In one minute, I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, grant me grace. Whatever pride that needs to be destroyed, is someone praying in my life and in this season, I have dishonored my parents, spiritually, physically. I have dishonored those who have lifted me academically. I see my lecturers and I push them away just because I am now a graduate. I've seen my pastor, and just because I'm now a man of God, I see the pastor that raised me, and I dishonor him. Lift your voice and pray. Someone pray. He that honors me, I will honor. He that dishonors me, I will esteem. Are you praying listen listen you are really going to pray from the your heart and say lord the eyes to see who is worthy of my honor and the unashamedness to communicate that honor i receive the grace lift off your voice and pray your neighbor is a wealthy man but you believe you are all neighbors. You have a relative that has never been out of job and yet you have been looking for a job for decades. 
and you have not seen a need to honor that grace pray you are trusting God to get married yet you insult every married person insult the wife insult the husband insult the children and you want the same blessing cannot work that way you want a flourishing ministry and you castigate everyone that God has helped Koinonia are you praying outside pray those online pray it's a secret it's an ordinance it's a system in the kingdom The principles that are supposed to lift you you dishonor them left right and center yet you want the same results no sir lord i receive grace i receive grace it's a season of extraordinary fruitfulness within these seven days grace grace i may look weak i may look cheap but let the blessings of honor distinguish me. Sharabagadabalash, embrekete parakato shabredekedesh, rakata parato sedeba shebalahus. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I like you in your mind where you are. The five or ten people you know in your life that have paid attention to you and have truly communicated honor listen not those you want to honor those who have honored you and have said sam i respect you i honor you you know anybody that has made you a big deal lift your voice and bless them and pray for them from your heart lift your voice and bless them if it's the people in your department bless them if it's the people in your life bless them lord you must lift my brother lord you must lift my sister they have honored me they have discerned the grace of god upon my life they have invested in my grace is someone praying hallelujah the last prayer point and then we round up this house you see is a buffet of graces dimensions and possibilities there are dimensions that you have seen in this house that you have not yet seen in your life you have seen marriages that work and your marriage is nose diving you can tap into that grace you have seen the grace of god you have seen different levels where you are now you are going to provoke the dimension that is set in your life and say lord genuine honor true genuine honor honor sincere honor from the depth of my heart i enter this possibility lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray lord i have seen amazing men and women of god in this ministry they may not know me but lord i honor them from the secret place Lord, I've seen great children in this ministry. I honor them with all my heart. I've seen the elderly ones in this ministry. I honor them with all my heart. Please pray. Hallelujah. So while it is true that it's the Holy Spirit that ultimately creates conviction, 
the manifestation of the miraculous in our lives and in the church you know when i came down you need to see the multitudes of people outside there are people sitting on the soccer way here my brothers and my sisters listen you went to school do you think human beings are stupid do you think someone will transport himself from another nation or another state some of you have not eaten since you came you came straight to sit down is god so wicked to sit down and allow you carry your trouble and go back Oh, not koinonia i welcome you to a place where god has given us the keys to deal with everything that is not of god i saw so many people standing outside the overflow by the roadside and compassion just gripped my heart i said imagine if i were one of these people and they were happily standing they were not complaining they just knew that if I may but touch the hem of his garment. My brothers and my sisters, let me tell you. Forgive me if it sounds proud, but God has given us something. Let me tell you sincerely. We, we make bold and we ask the world to come and receive because he has given us something. I told you last week, you only knock a door that you don't have the key. When you have a key, you don't, you stop knocking, you open that's the same way your destiny will be open the Lord declared prophetically that this is a year of extraordinary fruitfulness so in a meeting like this if I were you my heart is stayed on that word listen let me tell you please listen you see me teaching passionately we are going to pray when I teach like this huh? I don't teach as a preacher I come with my heart full of a burden are you getting what I'm saying? I come sincerely with my heart full of a burden because I love God, but I love his people too. My greatest satisfaction is not my personal progress. It's seeing the hand of God made manifest in your life. When instructions are given, when these spiritual things are given, you must open your heart to believe them you see the the gospel works with the simplicity of childlike faith sometimes many of us carry this trado african pride and that's what stops us from receiving god wants to step in and touch you and you are wondering will god really touch me you know my peculiar problem you know the name abba are you the first to be in trouble God knows how to deliver the righteous from trouble. Let me tell you this. I don't care what the situation is, but I want us to agree that this God of heaven, uh, the king of the universe, that he will arise for you tonight. You see, let me tell you this. My prayer this year, when I was fasting and praying this year, I prayed a prayer. I said, Lord, some people don't know what a testimony is. Give them one. They only know how other people's testimonies. The Lord did this for this, but they have never had a testimony themselves. The day you have a real testimony yourself, it will humble you. You wouldn't know whether to stand or to kneel down. That's what I'm praying for you for today. A testimony. testimony when the hand of God comes in a meeting and upon a man you see let me tell you this the supernatural is not just falling down and roll you can fall down and roll from left to right and stand up and go back and not testify the proof that God came is the testimony that follows the testimony the testimony of Jesus the testimony of Jesus apostle i came here barring march miracle service by april miracle service i'm one month pregnant that's a testimony listen come david down when the devil oppresses your life destroys everything about you he uses men as a canvas to write a letter to god that your dominion and your royalty is still being contested with oppression is a letter sent through men to God the highest of God's creation the devil writes upon your life I will destroy the family and I will make sure everyone begs like you send a, um, a chat send 
and then a miracle is God's reply that God rides through you and says in spite of this I am still on the throne it's true I believe in miracles I honestly and truthfully believe in miracles I believe in principles I believe in mysteries but I believe in divine intervention my brothers and my sisters God can shorten a man's journey what then is the excellency of his mercy listen God is a God of process I agree listen carefully God is a God of principles I agree he will not excuse laziness and he will not excuse spiritual laxity but let me tell you when blind Bartimeo said thou son of David have mercy on me the mercy of God can shorten the journey of a man if you get born again at age 40 do you know how long it takes to know God genuinely know God you don't read your Bible in two months and know God but there's something the Spirit of God can do and give you a solid encounter that in six months you have caught up with the spiritual level of more than five years how about restoration your parents started building from 1999 till today it has stopped at Lintel level right there you went to school and said i'm going to pay it and finish everything the day you said you pay it you almost died i made a vow with my life that i will believe this word and i will engage it life is too risky to be careless with spiritual laws engage it don't wait until the devil kills your life and your children before you know many believers learn too late let me say this and thank god for his mercy you will receive but do you know there are some of you the lord spoke to you about coming here since last year you've been arguing and giving reasons and excuses your situation would not have been that bad but thank God because although Lazarus was three days dead, Jesus is still the resurrection and the life. Not only the healer. When I prayed, I told the Lord, I said, please Lord, give people a testimony. Real testimonies. I was blind. Now I see. God did something in three weeks to my finances. Everybody see what God can do. God transformed my family. God turned me around and did something for me. I don't doubt your love for God, but there must be proofs of that love. There must be proofs of that love. Somebody shout, Lord, give me an evidence. Say, Lord, give me an evidence. I believe in proofs John chapter 4 and verse 48 I'll begin to pray shortly bless you 4 verse 48 he says and Jesus said unto him who was speaking here Jesus except ye see signs and wonders ye will not believe how true how true that there are so many people in your family until they see what the power of God does in your life they will never believe your God they think God is one of those things this is a charm this is this this is that and then God is one of them but the day like Dagon all those gods fall before the Almighty God and you return back with a solid evidence let me tell you that day like Pharaoh your loved ones who confess that this your God is God Are we together so I want you to be serious don't sit down and just look around and say ah, who is going to receive let me clap for him no it's an insistence it's a desperation except you see miraculous signs you shall not believe Luke chapter 5 we'll read the first 11 verses that miracles can help to create solid convictions Charles and Francis Hunter powerful evangelists they've gone to be with the Lord now they wrote a book that a miracle is worth a thousand words I believe them I believe them 
the world is tired of our noise and our stories they want to see a demonstration and a manifestation of the reality of the life and the power of God. He says, and it came to pass as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God. He stood by the lake of Gennesaret. Next verse, please. And saw two sheep standing by the lake, but the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. Uh -huh. We're reading to 11. And he entered into one of the sheep, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the sheep. Next verse. Now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, launch out into the deep and let your nets for a drought. Five what happened Simon answering said master we have toiled all night in other words he said lord look you are not the first to pray for me a man of god prayed for me in zaria another man prayed in wherever you know so god is one of those things you bless me oh yeah do it master we have toiled all night not for a few hours all night night vigil looking for a fish and did not catch even one it says nevertheless at thy word i will let down the net six and when they had this done they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their seven and they beckoned unto their partners which were in the other ship that they should come and help them and they came and filled both ships miracles can create relationships that you get a miracle and partners that were minding their business you can say come and join me who will not follow someone with results who will not let me tell you the bible talks about a wealthy man and um, how did he put it now a poor man that we even with much entreaties they will run away from him there are many people that come from where we come from and will pass us as if they don't know us because you represent shame and anything that looks like Ichabod, the departure of the glory, men will usually find a way to excuse it from. Ah, but the Bible says you will be called Beulah and Hephzibah, a delight. And they came and filled both ships so that they began to sing. Verse 8 when simon peter saw this look at this this is what miracles do he fell down at jesus's knees saying depart from me i'm a sinful man was a sermon preached a serious miracle happened and that miracle created conviction the same way some of you have been laughing at men of god sincerely and laughing at everything that has to do with the power of god and by the time we'll be sharing the grace tonight you will stand and go back quietly not talking to anybody and say i've seen today i heard with my ears like job but i've seen with my eyes that god is real and his power is real his grace is real nine for he was this is what led to the repentance he was so men can be astonished to repentance that they look at your life and say promise when did this happen when did god lift you was it not last year together we were discussing and you tell him there is a name god is called though, the lifter of men the lifter of men let me tell you my brothers and my sisters run away from anybody who tell you results don't matter they do they do out of the abundance of the evidence of the workings of god in your life the nations will bow to your god they will never bow to you just because you are talking man of god hear me no results you have mp pews there's there's no way around it there must be an evidence a serious evidence when john questioned the messiahship of jesus he didn't answer with a statement he said go and tell john what you have seen the blind see the deaf hear the dead are raised and the gospel is preached to the meek and then he says blessed is he that is not offended so the moment there are no miracles the messiahship of the christ is questioned john himself the one who ordained jesus said go and ask him is he the messiah Miracles confirm that Jesus is the Messiah. God is not a herbalist. 
he's not a herbalist that is ahead of other herbalists no wherefore god had so highly exalted him and given him a name there are people who have names politicians have names businessmen have names. captains of industry gatekeepers of mountains have names but my brothers and my sisters there is a name it says there is no other name under heaven given to man by which we must be saved and it's in that name tonight that we will wreak havoc in the kingdom of darkness the miraculous manifests the glory of god and causes people to not only believe god but to trust god john chapter 2 and verse 11 the first miracle of jesus what we call the miracle at the wedding of the Cana of galilee he turned water to wine the bible says this beginning of miracles this beginning of not this beginning of sermons not this beginning of discussions this beginning of miracles did jesus in cana of galilee and manifested forth his glory and the disciples believed on him believed on him we believe in the god that heals and saves and delivers that's why we kept the seats for you that's why we we knew you would come because the hand of God will bring you and we knew you would not be disappointed brothers and sisters there is a God in heaven God is not a herbalist don't let your pain demean him he is still the king of the universe the whole world lieth in wickedness Acts chapter 10 and verse 38 how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the holy ghost and with power and he went about doing good it takes the manifestation of the power of god to do good and healing all they that were oppressed of the devil for god was with him for god was with him for god was with him We're going to pray. You have to convince yourself. It's going to be a quick walk. And we're going to cry to God and say, Lord, whatever I carried from my house, whatever I carried from my place of work that I've brought before you, it should not return back with me. It should be clear and evident that I met the Lord Jesus Christ. It should be clear and evident right where you are sitting you will soon stand up but right where you are sitting i'd like you to talk to the lord please be serious and be desperate lord i have come to you i've come to you i've come to you i've come to you my life must be changed my finances must be changed my destiny must be changed lord i've come to you as a pastor i've come to you as a prophet as an apostle there has to be greater oil upon my life lord i hear you are a restorer restore me online please make sure you are praying those outside make sure you are praying there is a god that answers prayer when the lord turned again the captivity of zion it says we were like them that dream and our mouths were filled with laughter and said they among the hidden the lord had done great things for them it says the lord had done great things for us whereof we are glad turn again our captivity like the streams of the negev turn again our captivity there is a god that can turn around the captivity of men
Abarada Balakatos. Pray. Doesn't matter where you are seated, doesn't matter where you are connecting from. The power of God is able to save to the uttermost. Shalabaradakatos. Father, I'm praying that infirmity in my body must leave this night. That financial situation must die this night. That oppression that has kept my family down. Did the Bible not say this is a victory that overcometh the world, even our faith? A miracle worker, God is a glorious God, God is a miracle worker, God is a glorious shortly and I'll begin to minister by the Spirit your own assignment is to receive you have come let me tell you something there is enough grace to solve whatever challenge it is that has plagued you yours is to believe in the power of God it says if you will believe you will see the glory of God if you will believe you will see the glory of God if you will believe you will see the glory of God. If you will believe, you will see the glory of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. A lady, the power of God is going to come upon a lady outside. Please carry her and bring her now. There is a lady I'm seeing. I just saw light from in here. Write the power of God upon that lady. Please bring her. Please bring her. And then bring the someone on this row. I'm seeing like, like a smoke just going round. And it's like it's locating someone. The power of God is going to come on someone. Please pick the person and bring the person out. You reign. You reign. Hello.
lady from outside i cross the hand of captivity over your life in the name of jesus christ i cross the hand of captivity over your family in the name of jesus i saw a lot of oppression over the life of this lady and in the name of jesus we silence the voice of wickedness we silence the voice of wickedness hold on please the lord is showing me something right now i saw this while i ministered in abel kuta i started seeing snakes on the ground snakes on the ground and that's what i'm seeing right now and this is this is the manifestation of a spirit and there are many families that are under this yoke whether you believe it or not just let me minister to you i'm declaring right now the power of god is going to start coming on people that represent those families bring them out you are not shouting anything you are not saying anything bring them out i'm speaking by the spirit the word of god has been declared there are families i'm seeing serpents snakes snakes inside and outside bring them even the lawful captives shall be delivered even the lawful captives shall be delivered and the captives of the mighty by the fire of the holy spirit i judge those spirits wherever you are represented in anyone here represented in anyone here i speak by the hand of god you reign you reign hello bring them out i'm still on that case the power of god is still locating people i'm seeing snakes Jesus I'm still praying we are not doing too many things tonight we are going to the root of many people's challenges I'm saying it again there are still spirits and I speak by the anointing of the spirit of God wherever they are overflow one two three across the road I'm declaring judgment judgment upon those spirits the fire of God is coming upon you right now whether you are standing for yourself or for your family bring them out there is no escape for when his voice comes they come out from their hiding place Hallelujah. Now listen, there are people I'm seeing something that looks like a knife being inserted in people and I'm seeing people beginning to run just run when you see people doing that hold them and bring them the Lord is bringing deliverance that one is not speed this one is not the prayer for speed I'm just telling you as the Lord is showing me right now I decree and declare I don't know those that the Lord is cutting them free from every kind of diabolism but I stretch my hands by the spirit I command judgment on every force judgment on every power in the name of Jesus Christ the hand of God is coming upon them you will begin to see them run around just running is 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 not a, a making of their own it's by the power of the Holy Ghost bring them out
instruction right now. Now we are ready to shout. Listen. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing what looks like a grave. And the Lord is saying he's delivering families from the power of the grave. In the name of Jesus Christ and at the count of three, any family whether territorially or by whatever connection is tied to the spirit of the grave. I'm declaring at the count of three as you shout Jesus the power of God is setting you free one two three the spirit of the grave the spirit of the grave the spirit of the grave I cost you by the God of heaven the spirit of the grave I cost you by the God of heaven Just follow me this night. Now, I'm praying for all those in front. They came out because the Lord showed something. I declare by the power of God that the legal access of darkness over your life is broken and at the count of three, I speak to these spirits. Release everything you have taken from these families. One, two, go, go, go. Out of their lives, out of their destinies, out of their lives out of their destinies I command a release I command a release I command a release release breakthroughs release open doors hallelujah we are going to pray please just pay attention and let God help you. You came here tonight to receive. Listen to me. The Lord is ministering to me that there are people you dare not go to bed. Someone must come in your sleep and try to sleep with you. Or it may happen once in a while. This is a strange oppression of darkness. And I declare, I'm praying right now. I'm seeing fire all over this place because there are many people that is the root cause of many oppressions in your life. At the count of three, you will shout that name again. That is above every other name. And some of you will feel something leaving you immediately. I declare that all these spirits that molest the saints and manipulate dreams and visions. At the count of three, let there be emancipation. One, two, get ready. Three. I command those spirits, go now. Strangers of the night. Strangers of the night. Kebrakatakata. Rekatakata. Help that gentleman. Strangers of the night. Rekete perekata. Embrekete Bring them out. Strangers of the night. I curse you by the God of heaven. Molesting the saints. Planting sicknesses in their bodies. Hello, Kim Madonna. Hello, Hello, Kim Madonna. a certain family here 
I'm seeing that they tied the family to the covenant of a stone. Something that has to do with a stone. I don't know what that means and in what tribe. But I'm seeing a covenant that has to do with being tied to a stone. I don't know if it's for protection or for whatever. But in the name of Jesus, I'm praying right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. That any fraternity with the elements of Christ. Let it be broken now in the name of Jesus. Help them please. Let it be broken now in the name of Jesus. Fraternities with stones and elements and strange fires of the night. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. The mysteries behind the strange hardship of people. The mysteries behind the oppression of people, oppression of families. Doors, doors are opening. That's what I'm seeing in the spirit. Doors, doors. Some of you will feel fire on your hands. Fire on your hands. Doors are opening. Two leaf gates in the spirit. Fire on your hand. You will know by the fire that comes to your hand. I'm seeing fire coming on people's hands. That's what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit. Doors opening. You must testify. Doors opening. Doors opening. Doors opening. Age long doors. Age long doors that have been closed for many years. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord stand just at the back of this young man. Please shift, my friend. These four ladies, one, two, three, four. I'm seeing an anointing on you people. One, two, three, four. I don't know what it is that God is taking out, but I'm seeing like chains being taken from your feet chains being removed in the name of jesus i decree and declare i saw an angel stand there chains being taken up from your feet in the name of jesus christ chains being taken from off your feet listen let me explain something to you this is not just some disorganized jamboree god is turning the destinies of men up. You will see people return with testimonies because there are forces. Emmanuel. I'm hearing the name Emmanuel. Who is that? Emmanuel. Please don't make the place rowdy. Emmanuel. We're going to pray for the sick now. There are four of you I'm seeing here. You have the call of God upon your life. But there are strange altars that are holding you down. In the name of Jesus, I lose you now. I lose you by the force of the Spirit. I lose you. I release your ministry. I lose you. I release your ministry. Hear me. I'm speaking by the Spirit. I lose you. I release your ministry. I stand by this apostolic anointing. I lose you. If I be called of God, I lose you. I lose you from these forces. I lose you from these yokes. In the name of Jesus Christ. There are men that can be alive, let me tell you, but they are dead in the spirit. Emmanuel, I'm praying. We don't have time to minister individuals, individually, but I'm praying for you. The Lord is breaking delay from four of the families with Emmanuel. No, no, once I mention your case, the power of God is coming upon you. You will know it's your case. 
I stretch my hands now among the Emmanuels and the people delay 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 there is an anointing coming now is crushing that spirit just because I'm praying for Emmanuel does not mean it will not come upon you in the name of Jesus delay delay God is visiting delay broken by the Spirit of God please help them so they don't injure themselves he came to set the captives free to set the captives free hold on this young lady lift your hands this this yes you lift your hands I'm stretching my hands towards you I don't know what it is that I saw but I saw something like smoke the other one the smaller one with white yes I just saw something like smoke coming out of you and the Lord is saying this is oppression for many years that has something to do with your abdominal region in the name of Jesus Christ I declare right now by the power of the Holy Spirit let that oppression go let it leave you let it go let it leave you right now in the name of Jesus there is a woman now I'm going to pray for people generally but I don't know how we we'll do this there is a barren woman in overflow three barren woman trusting God for the fruit of the womb please if if you can allow the woman to run and come God is instructing me to lay my hands on her because it's time for her to carry her child. Overflow three. Please let her run and come. I'm hearing a name Maureen 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 what is your name lift your hands where are you from shout Jesus loud as you can Jesus! let the power of witchcraft over your life be broken my dear look at me look at me shout Jesus. Jesus I crush that spirit right now in the name of Jesus and the man you see in your dream in the name of Jesus may you never see that man again please make sure you they don't why is mama here is she Maureen this woman I, I'll pray for you that woman come madam is that your daughter? Come, madam. Where are you coming from, ma? Let her come. Sir? Where are you coming from? I'm from area C. Area I'm C? No, I'm, I'm going to pray for you. Mama, you are a sincere woman. But if I did not pray for you, huh? it's a bike that will kill you from the market in an accident. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing this woman with a leather of potato and a bike man just comes to jam her together with a truck and they just say survive by that the woman is dead I'm not a prophet of doom mama please don't be afraid in the name of Jesus Christ hold my hands I extend your life by the power of the Holy Spirit that the plague of death see let me prophesy upon someone here anyone here that the hand of death is upon you to see that you will not see the end of this year I'm praying by the Spirit now I'm praying by the Spirit and in the name of Jesus anyone that the Spirit of death is haunting anyone being haunted by the Spirit of death I command that it is crushed now in Jesus name what is your name my dear Maureen come you will look at a beautiful lady like this but in the realm of the spirit I'm seeing a human being but no face no face like this I'm just seeing a blank face like this 
Let me tell you what this means. It's a yoke of bad luck. That people stand and cannot bless you. You have what it takes to be blessed and rewarded. The lady on yellow, lift your hands. There's the call of God upon your life. There is a prophetic grace that is upon you. And the Lord is saying you are stepping into it right now. I stretch my hands to you. Right now in the name of Jesus. May the Lord bring you into that grace. I'm still praying for her. In the name of Jesus I declare. I'm seeing fire coming upon you right now. And that fire will unlock a dimension of the prophetic. In the name of Jesus Christ. bad luck listen I'm going to hold her but a different person is the one that will receive before I pray for her this is just allow me do my my mad thing hold my hand in the name of Jesus I'm not praying for her I'm praying for someone now by the Spirit of the Lord but the Lord is saying I should hold her as I pray for the person Lord in the name of Jesus this yoke of bad luck I'm speaking now please help them this yoke of bad luck by the power of the Holy Spirit where good things don't seem to happen to you in the name of Jesus let it be broken now 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 now let me pray for you be free by the anointing of the Holy Spirit I take away this that I'm seeing and in the name of Jesus, you have an identity in the spirit that brings honor, that brings grace and dignity. In Jesus' name I pray. Where are these ones? We're going to pray for the sick. Your name is Maureen. Are you married? You are married? Yes, sir. But you don't have a child? Yes, sir. From Overflow 3? Yes, sir. Where's your husband? He's not here. He's not, but you are married? Yes, sir. Come and stand here and watch the God of wonders. I don't know you. Madam, from Overflow 3? You are from Overflow 3. You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Why did you come? Your name is Maureen. What do you do, madam? Hold on. I'm a businesswoman. You are a businesswoman. Where? I used to sell at uh, young, um, Random Kanu. But right now, the business is... Do you know why I'm asking you? No. I must pray for you because this thing is not only you there is nobody doing well in your family your entire family this is what I'm seeing is a spirit huh? except you open up something and miss even physical money used to get missing from you you will keep money and count it and found find out that it's not what you kept is that true if I'm lying just say I'm lying where are you from from a new Anambra state. I'm seeing the map of Nigeria and I'm seeing the state Anambra. I'm seeing deliverance coming for people from that state now. I'm seeing deliverance coming for people from that state. Anyone, usually when God shows me this, anybody who is from that state connected by blood, the power of God begins to come upon them to bring deliverance. It's a sign and a wonder. I'm declaring right now in the name of Jesus, that anyone who is from that state and that region and there is any force and yoke that is fighting you be free right now in the name of Jesus be free in the name of Jesus be free in the name of Jesus please help them be free in the name of Jesus Anambra state be free in the name of Jesus I'm still seeing the map in my vision be free in the name of Jesus My friend, that young man holding his hands, shout Jesus from where you are. The yoke is broken. I cast it out of your life forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, I need to pray for you. Don't feel bad. Look at me. You insulted a woman some years ago. And the woman told you it will not be well with you. It was like a joke. Truly the thing followed you. This is what God is showing me. Now, I'm not a prophet of doom. 
I'm going to pray for you. I don't know if it, the woman annoyed you or what is it. You insulted the woman and she stood and told you that it would not be well because what you were saying about her was not what she did. Hold my hands. The Bible says, even the lawful captive shall be delivered. Let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, the scourging tongues of men, the scourging tongues of men, except you know where you stand, a cause causeless shall not stand. But if there is a cause, it will stand though. It will stand. Are we together now? I will pray. Where are your siblings, madam? Hi. This woman, no. Oh. You are not here alone. Where are the rest? Call them. Just stand where you call. What is their name? AGK. Quickly, please. And Victor. AGK, come. And, and who? Victor. That is and my Victor. Son. Yes. Victor is not your brother. Victor is a small my boy. Son, yes. Where is he? Let him come. Because I'm seeing the boy, you are saying Victor is a little boy. Ah, uh, are you married? Yes. You have a son? Yes. Your son's name too is Victor? Yes, he's the one I'm calling. Is the boy that you are talking yes. about? You said your brother. No, HK is my brother. Then Let the boy come. As young as that boy is too, if I don't pray for him, he will start stealing. Eh? There are two boys, small boys that will be delivered from this spirit. No matter where you keep anything, they must steal it. We are not condemning people. I hope you understand what I'm saying here. God is delivering people. To the pure, all things are pure. Nobody is calling any family a bad family. But this is a place where God is visiting people. Where is the person, please? Come, celebrate him as he comes. You're welcome sir i will pray for you god is going to turn your family around this is the little boy my friend how are you come how old are you 11 years old you love jesus yes sir. i will pray for you how can a nice boy like this and the next thing start picking things do you know let me tell you these small children that steal are not thieves it's just that either by carelessness or lack of discernment it was not dealt with because most of what they steal they don't need it that's how you know it's a spirit are we together yes that's why it's important that parents lay hands on their children and speak and prophesy don't assume they will be spiritual by default my friend let me pray for you father thank you for this adorable young man and this guy has a great destiny you see this boy i'm looking at a star rising as i'm laying my hands on him this is what the lord is showing me in the name of jesus christ i pray for you you will be a great man by the power of the holy spirit hold this woman the anointing of the spirit is coming on her in the name of jesus christ sir what do you do a medical sales representative you are a medical sales representative medical sales representative can i pray for you yes. you are a sincere person eh? but this thing they are just forces that want to destroy your family i will pray for you eh? april may june it will look like you held a charm the way god will turn your life around you believe it in the name of jesus may that grace come upon you madam come the power of god is coming upon you in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare this thing that i'm seeing tied to your waist i lose it right now by the power of the holy spirit be set free now in the name of jesus christ you are the one trusting god for a child come how long have you been married three years three years yes. no child you too are you married five years four five months. years four months yes. no child child doctor said after two surgeries they said my husband cannot impregnate me he did surgery twice don't cry jesus is here huh you went through two surgeries where is your husband he's at home, he's at home. don't cry where are you from where are you coming from Graceland. you see th these are the things that sometimes worry my spirit imagine the kind of trouble that this family will go through sometimes we take some things for granted imagine the advices someone now will recommend and say go to a herbalist go and do this and don't cry my sister two surgeries you went through 
my head. Now I'm seeing something being removed from your stomach. Look at what is happening to her. Yes, she went through two surgeries. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that spirit that says your husband cannot impregnate you. In the name of Jesus, I set you free now. Madam, I set you free now. I'm praying for the rest, but I set you free now. Hold my hands. Come. In the name of Jesus, I declare supernatural miracle for you now. Release this woman now. As I'm praying for you, I'm praying for your husband wherever he is. According to the time of life, may you return with your miracle children. It's over. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. My dear, let me. Why is this woman here? You are married to madam? No child? How long? Four years and um, five months. Four years, five months. Where are you coming from? Jigawa State. From Jigawa State. Please come. Oh dear. All the walk, 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 walk is turning things around. All the walk, 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 walk is turning things around. All the walk, walk, walk is turning things around. Oh my good. Do you know why God is dealing with these issues? Because He has declared that it's a year of extraordinary fruitfulness. Is fruitfulness from any dimension? any dimension look at this woman look at these women crying i may never understand what it means for a woman to not be able to take in i think it's the equivalent of a man not be able to provide for his family that you come back home and watch your wife and children and they say that they were hungry and you are clueless about where bread will come from my sister please don't cry who brought you here you came alone sarah huh? sarah oh dear Put your hand on your stomach. Is she a Christian? She's, she's a Christian? Yes. Okay. It doesn't matter whether you are a Muslim or Christian. The Lord, everybody the Lord healed in the Old Testament. He healed them and gave them an opportunity to hand their lives over. You just act like this just to show honor and respect people. I will pray for you. There is a name that is above every other name. And in the name of Jesus, I lay my hands upon your womb and I declare the embargo of barrenness, five years barrenness, let it be broken right now. Look at this, let it be broken right now. I'm seeing something being loose from your stomach. This is what I'm seeing. And then I'm seeing you coughing. You are now beginning to cough. This is what I'm seeing. I don't know what it is that I'm seeing, but I'm seeing something come out of you and you are coughing, coughing something out. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be gone now let it be gone forever let it be gone forever let it be gone forever my dear put your hand on your stomach what's your name blessing, blessing. where's your husband he's not here he's not here yes. father in the name of jesus i don't care what the medical report is we agree as a family of faith that this our dear sister carries her miracle child now i decree and declare according to the time of life return with your child whatever needs to be corrected in this body now i correct it by the power ah, i'm seeing something like fire burning already on your stomach this is what i'm saying you will feel it now physically like fire on your stomach in the name of jesus christ let there be a look at what is happening to her a correction a correction of whatever is wrong in the name of jesus why are they here fruit of the womb uh, we are not praying at random we'll pray madam i will pray for you where are you coming from huh nasarawa state nasara state are you alone no I mean you me. came with who only me only you come just the woman i will pray for her we have to pray for the sick but how many of you have seen what god is doing here listen you see if you love the lord and you see god attacking
in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord just showed me something now I'm seeing the head of a human being on top of something that looks like a shrine on fire and the Lord is telling me that this is one of the mysteries behind the captivity of many people I decree in the name of Jesus Christ father whatever has had to do with blood that is responsible for the bewitchment and the plague that comes upon people in the name of Jesus by the mercy of God let there be freedom now let there be freedom now let there be freedom now I'm seeing a family of one, two, three, four, five, six graduates. Nobody's employed. Six graduates. You are all graduates. Nobody has a job. Who is that person? Six graduates. Please listen to the instruction so that you don't just jump out. Six graduates. No job. Not one person has a job. I want to pray for you. You're the one for the fruit of the womb? Huh? I have to pray for you. I'm seeing something in your stomach. Have you gone to the hospital? You've spoken with a doctor? Don't be embarrassed. I'm seeing something growing in your stomach. And this is not a baby. I will pray for you because if I don't pray for you, you will have to go through serious surgery to even allow the baby stay based on what the Lord is showing me. And I'm going to pray for you. Where are you coming from, madam? Kano. Kano. Is your husband here? Is your husband here? Yes. Where is he? Husband, sir, please come. There's that something the Lord wants to do in your family. Don't worry, he's, he's here. He's coming. Thank you, sir. Thank you for coming. God bless you. I want to pray for you. You came from Kano too? You came from Kano too, sir? I'm going to pray for you. Thing come out of you. Opportunity to hand their lives. Opportunity to hand their lives over. You just act like this just to show honor and respect people. I will pray for you. There is a name that is above every other name. And in the name of Jesus, I lay my hands upon your womb. And I declare the embargo of barrenness, five years barrenness. Let it be broken right now. Look at this. Let it be broken right now. I'm seeing something being loose from your stomach. This is what I'm seeing. And then I'm seeing you coughing. You are now beginning to cough. This is what I'm seeing. I don't know what it is that I'm seeing, but I'm seeing something come out of you and you are coughing, coughing something out. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be gone now. Let it be gone forever. Let it be gone forever. Let it be gone forever. My dear, put your hand on your stomach. What's your name? Blessing. Blessing. Where's your husband? He's not here. He's not here. Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus, I don't care what the medical report is we agree as a family of faith that this our dear sister carries her miracle child now i decree and declare according to the time of life return with your child whatever needs to be corrected in this body now i correct it by the power ah, i'm seeing something like fire burning already on your stomach this is what i'm saying you will feel it now physically like fire on your stomach in the name of jesus christ let there be a look at what is happening to her a correction a correction of whatever is wrong in the name of jesus why are they here fruit of the womb uh, we're not praying at random we we'll pray madam i will pray for you where are you coming from Huh? Nasrawa State. Nasrawa State. Are you alone? No, I mean. You came with who? Only me. Only you. Come. Just the woman. I will pray for her. We have to pray for the sick. But how many of you have seen what God is doing here? Listen, you see, if you love the Lord and you see God attacking. In the name of Jesus Christ the Lord just showed me something now I'm seeing the head of a human being on top of something that looks like a shrine on fire 
and the Lord is telling me that this is one of the mysteries behind the captivity of many people I decree in the name of Jesus Christ father whatever has had to do with blood that is responsible for the bewitchment and the plague that comes upon people in the name of Jesus by the mercy of God let there be freedom now let there be freedom now let there be freedom now I'm seeing a family of one, two, three, four, five, six graduates. Nobody's employed. Six graduates. You are all graduates. Nobody has a job. Who is that person? Six graduates. Please listen to the instruction so that you don't just jump out. Six graduates. No job. Not one person has a job. I want to pray for you. You're the one for the fruit of the womb? Huh? I have to pray for you I'm seeing something in your stomach have you gone to the hospital you've spoken with a doctor don't be embarrassed I'm seeing something growing in your stomach and this is not a baby I will pray for you because if I don't pray for you you will have to go through serious surgery to even allow the baby stay based on what the Lord is showing me and I'm going to pray for you where are you coming from madam Kano. Kano. Is your husband here? Is your husband here? Yes. Where is he? Husband, sir, please come. There's that something the Lord wants to do in your family. Don't worry, he's, he's here. He's coming. Thank you, sir. Thank you for coming. God bless you. I want to pray for you. You came from Kano too? You came from Kano too, sir? I'm going to pray for you. Number one, God is going to give you the fruit of the womb. Number two, God is restoring your finances. You hear what I'm saying? Amen. God is restoring your finances. Amen. This is a serious issue. As you are here coming now, the financial trouble you are into is only God that can bring you out. Amen. Is that true? God is going to help you. Madam, put your hand on your stomach. In the name of Jesus Christ. Why are they here? Six graduates. No job. In the name of Jesus Christ father by your mercy and by your grace let there be a sign and a wonder in the life of this woman just keep her down in the name of jesus i declare by the power of the holy spirit everything that is wrong be corrected now in the name of jesus sir please can you hold my hands in the name of jesus i speak over your finances there is a grace that can restore and i release that grace upon you in the name of jesus christ madam let me talk to you and then we'll pray for the sick you are the both of you where are you coming from you are here in zaria yes and you are, yes i know your face six graduates no job yes sir including you yes sir come no but there are six here, people no. yes but there's no job for yes, them sir. can we agree that god will give them a job yes sir and you too yes. let's pray come hold my hands father in the name of jesus christ there is an anointing that is coming upon you eh? and is for the sake of your family in the name that is above all names i release this grace upon you and i pray let the embargo of joblessness be broken now even on both of you i use you as a point of contact to pray now something is leaving this lady's hand you something is leaving your hand i cost that yoke now in the name of jesus your hand is a symbol of your productivity and I declare in the name of Jesus, let there be liberty. Liberty for all of you. Liberty. I open the doors of jobs. In Jesus' name I pray. Why is he here? You are a graduate. Six. From where, please? From Abuja. Abuja. Yes. You are a school of ministry student. Madam, let me talk to you. Where are you coming from? Natural State. Are you married? Bring the person that begins to laugh in the spirit. The hand of God is coming upon someone. The 
Bible says the shouts of joy and victory will not depart from the tents of the righteous. Please bring the person. Let's save time. Father, I establish this victory over this lady's life. The oppression over your life and your family is broken now and broken forever. Broken now and broken forever. Ah, we don't have time. Our time is gone. But the Lord is showing me a very serious vision of a lady that entered a relationship with a gentleman and left him and the guy vowed i'm seeing this guy carry not you now i'm seeing this guy carry a photo and taking it to a herbalist in kaduna state hello kim matona hello kim matona under this grace whose name has been taken for any diabolic activity i stand by the hand of god whoever took it there judgment comes on them now whoever took it there judgment comes on them now whoever took it there judgment comes on them now Whoever took it there, judgment comes on them now. I'm still praying. Whoever took it there, judgment comes on them now. This is what the Lord showed me. Carry the name of the lady and kept it there. That number one, no decent man will ever come and ask her out. And number two, she will never give birth. This is what I'm seeing. Who shall say a thing and it will come to pass? That when God has not declared it so. I reverse every pronouncement over anyone here in the name of Jesus. I want to pray a prayer. Please forgive me for tonight's miracle service. The way God is taking us. I want to pray. Shade and doctor, please come. The Lord wants to end an old issue in your family. Please come. This is what the Lord is showing me. This thing I'm seeing is as old as more than 60, 70 years. The Lord is opening my eyes to see now. Please, I want to pray for you. Those under the anointing, help me. Please, I'm just using two of you as a point of contact. But I'm seeing a spirit. This is an ancient spirit. The way this thing works is that men rise. The moment they get to the zenith of anything they are doing, they must die. This is the spirit I'm seeing. Please listen. I'm not... I'm just using them and I'm ministering the way God is showing me. These are not the only families with this thing, but the Lord is saying I should deal with it now. Provided you have not gotten to the pinnacle, you, no death will touch you. But the moment you touch that bar, you are going down. And the Lord wants to destroy it. Because God is using both of you to start a new program in the family. I will follow the lion. I will follow the lamb. I will follow the lion. I will follow the lamb. I believe in the lion. I believe in the lion. I believe in the lamb. Bring that little girl, as small as that girl you see is. This girl you are seeing is a deliverer of her family. As small as you are seeing this, this little girl. Because this girl stands as an altar of righteousness over her family. And as small as she is, the devil wants to kill her. 
in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare, I use this, my dear daughter, as a point of contact. That everything that is not the planting of God, I scatter it now in the name of Jesus. May God use this, our precious daughter, and truly may she be the deliverer of her family. In the name of Jesus. A lady is going to start running because I'm about to pray over a spirit that is in her family and that spirit is going to start driving her to run away so i'm telling you in advance you are going to see the person stand up to start running away it's, it's not even this lady i'm talking about this somebody in the crowd you will not even you will not be in control of yourself it's a spirit because i'm about to rebuke it right now father i thank you for the bonire family and by extension the various families the altar that sits upon this family even the lawful captives shall be delivered even the lawful captives i break that yoke now i stand by the rod of a higher priesthood that ancient yoke that brings down great men over this family be broken I open up the door of increase. Rise to the zenith of your profession. I forbid the spirit of death once and for all. In a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, an issue that is age long. Let me tell you this. A mighty deliverance has happened to this family. This thing I'm telling you, fought their grandparents fought their parents and if not delivered now will still fight them if there's anyone here that this same spirit works in your family you rise to a position and crash down in the name of Jesus at the count of three let fire land upon such individuals and scatter that altar scatter that altar forever in the name of Jesus Christ it took words to establish the covenant that brought this family in trouble now I declare to you, a new order starts in your lineage. A new order starts in your family. Where children live long and they become successful. And that every embargo of witchcraft, once and for all, is broken in the name of Jesus. Madam, I can pray for you now. Where did you say you are from? Nasarawa just State. just keep her somewhere there or bring a chair and keep her you are not from Nasarawa State you stay in Nasarawa yes, State sir. where are you from Ebony State Ebony State Ebony State I want to pray for you am I wasting your time please yes, one encounter with the power of God is enough to turn your life around my friend this man wearing um, you yes did you come alone who did you come with? Where is your wife? Come. It's time for God to change your life. Stand up. Stand up. Please stand up. Stand up. Where are you coming from? From campus, yes, sir. You are from campus, yes, here. sir. What do you do? I am lecturer in the university. You are a lecturer. Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Sir, you are not supposed to be at this level now. You are a very brilliant man. You, but there, you are intelligent. I don't know you, all, but sir. you are a brilliant man. It's even yes, too grace for you to be given a lecturing job. Yes, sir. It's because there is no way they could deny you. Yes, you are too exceptional. Yes, sir. And you are supposed to be abroad now. Yes, I don't know what has kept yes, you down. Sir. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. You are not supposed to be here. Yes, sir. Yes, but sir. somebody carried your issue and put it under the table. You see, you see what we are talking about. That you carry a man's destiny see let me say it i'm praying to you from my heart that in the name of jesus whatever belongs to you 
and has been hijacked by the wicked hearts of men it must be released this night it must be released this night sir please stand up what's your department political science, sir. Political science. can i pray for you yes sir you will know that there is a god in heaven amen what do you do my dear you are not doing anything. No, sir. I have to pray for you. Yes, sir. Huh? That trip abroad, you must go. Amen. Amen. Because there is an honor and there is a professor that God has destined that you will meet. Amen. And I'm going to pray. Do you believe what I'm saying? Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ, sir, I pray for you. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I release you and I release your destiny. Amen both for you and your wife Amen. i decree and declare scale new heights in your profession in the name of jesus christ number two there is a friend in your life and the lord is telling me to tell you to be careful there is a friend in your life be careful i won't say more than that be careful what god has joined let no man put asunder I'll stop there. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord honor you. In Jesus' name. Madam, you have been here for a while. Let's pray. What are you trusting God for? For marriage. Who came from Joss? Joss. Joss. Where did you come from? Madam, where did you come from? Bokos. Huh? Bokos. From Joss. Not state of origin where you came from that you left it and came huh i want to pray for you what do you do i, I i'm a secretary you are what i'm a secretary you are a secretary yes, sir. come let me pray for you I... one of these days we'll just trust god and do a night vigil honestly so that we can deal with this issue seriously you may think that time is being wasted until you see what God is turning around in your life. All these people came from Joss. Madam, say in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I will not have what they call that pregnancy. That they have to do, um, no, bridge is bridge or something like that. This is what I'm saying. I'm not pregnant. All done. Let me pray for you. Come. You are sick. It looks like pregnancy like is breached this is what i'm saying the pregnancy that looks like is that will open you up and carry something out where are you coming from joss oh, what did they say is wrong with you um, multiple fibers no a man don't feel embarrassed can i talk to you a man used to come in a dream huh yes, and sleep with you yes, sir. is that true yes, sir. that's what brought this pregnancy I'm a man of God. Don't be af afraid. You, you heard the story I told you now. Yes, sir. Madam, if I'm lying, look at me before the whole world and say I'm a liar. That you go to bed and a man comes and all of a sudden this started coming. Of course, medically you would think that, okay, you check it. There is nothing there. Yet the pregnancy will not go. How long has this thing been? Three years. Three years. Don't cry. Don't cry. Who did you come with? May this place remain a place of solutions. Was it not the fallen angels that met with the daughters of men and they became pregnant physically? and had strange go and listen to my teaching the mystery of the serpent and the woman my sister can i pray for you you believe in jesus look at this adorable lady look at imagine a woman carrying this for three years is that pregnancy a, does a human being stay three years in the stomach are you married of course imagine what this this means to her marital life put your hand there 
father in the name of jesus christ look at this look at what is happening to the woman in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare that every seed that has not been planted by god let it be uprooted in this body is it not written that every tree that has not been planted by my father it must be uprooted i uproot this right now in the name of jesus christ i uproot this right now in the name of jesus by a strange mystery may this thing begin to go down and disappear from this woman's body in the name of jesus christ just keep her down there madam let me pray for you what do you want the lord to do for you i'm believing him for a life partner life partner do you believe god can give you a life partner yes, sir. do you love jesus? love jesus you are born again father the bible says male and female he created them she's not embarrassed she's standing sincerely and telling you that i came so that god will bless me with a life partner i lay my hands upon you and i decree and declare may god bring a responsible man to your life Amen. you will not marry a man that will make your yesterday better than your tomorrow Amen. in the name of jesus christ i declare it so and for all these people standing i pray for them may the lord himself bring miracles over their life Amen. in jesus name i pray i may not have time to minister to all of you one by one please forgive me huh coincidentally i'm going to just tomorrow i'll be in just saturday sunday i'm ministering in a conference i'm excited i'll be in house on the rock at rayfield saturday and sunday i mean just but let me pray for you all of you who came all the way my dear look at me you love jesus yes sir with all your heart yes sir i drive the boy that the devil wants to bring to your life say amen amen you you may not understand what i'm saying but let me repeat myself i drive i didn't say god drove him in the name of jesus christ as one who loves you well eh? i drive any irresponsible boy that is coming in the name of prayer warrior to destroy your life amen in the name of jesus i'm amen. not looking down it is god's will that all men be saved but then I'm telling you that in the name of Jesus Christ, everything that would destroy your destiny, let it be far from you. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. For all of you, I may not know why you came, but let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus, return with your testimony. In the name of Jesus, return with your testimonies. In the name, just believe what I'm praying for you. In the name of Jesus, return with your testimonies. God bless you. Please go back to your seat, my God. Can we still pray for the sick? How many of you are trusting God for healing? Let me see your hands out there. Okay, this is what is going to happen. It's okay, I'm, I'm going to pray for you. you. You came, you brought them. Okay, I'm going to pray for you now. You just relax. Now, please, because of time, those under the anointing, just leave them if there's no... Usher, hold on. A lady usher, place your hand on that girl. Any lady usher. Release her now. Out! In the name of Jesus. Let it come to an end now. And forever. Release her destiny. Release her family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be restoration. Let there be testimonies. Please, this is how we are going to do it. Because our time is already gone. We are going to do three things at the same time. Please listen. Number one, you are going to be submitting your prayer requests. Number two, those who are trusting God for healing in the various overflows. Please, aside from those that I prayed for for barrenness, if your reason of coming here is barrenness, whether you are in overflow one, two, or three, I want you to come to overflow one. I want to pray for you myself. Aside from that, please, you are trusting God for a healing miracle. 
I want you to move to your various overflows. So those at overflow one, move to the front of your projector stand. Overflow two, the same thing. Overflow three, the same thing. Those by the roadside, the roadside down to second equa. Join overflow two. You can join overflow two, please. Usher's protocol PR department, coordinate yourself to help them, please. So that the people know what they are doing. Praise the Lord. Those in here, you can come. You can come. The Lord bless you. Now, there are going to be men and women of God scattered across these various places who are ministering under a corporate anointing. Make sure you are standing for healing, please. Make sure you are standing for healing. No, no, no. Those for fruit of the womb, come in, please. The main auditorium. I want to lay hands on you by myself. It doesn't matter what overflow you are. If it is fruit of the womb, please come. The main auditorium. I want to pray for you. Now, please listen. Just a touch is enough. You don't have to start explaining and telling the men of God this is a problem. Sometimes God can give them words. If they don't, don't worry. Just a touch and you will go back. I want you to believe this. That's why you came. Are we together? While that is happening, if you have your prayer request here, you can just wave it and pass it. Let there be an usher. Okay, um, peace is here. You can pass it. Let there be an usher or somebody. Please, um, the various departments, coordinate yourself so that you are collecting this. Let's make it fast. Those online, um, you can use our social media platforms to submit your requests. And we're going to pray on it right now. Please, quickly, quickly. A Jimmy and a Jimmy and promise will go to overflow one. A Jimmy and promise will go to overflow one. Um, Pastor Alpha and Benga will go to overflow three. Overflow three. Pastor Femi and Kenny. And Ima go to overflow two. Also extend to those by the roadside. Extend to those by the roadside. Did you get? Let me pray for you, Pastor Lawrence. Come. I will pray for you and then you will join those at overflow three. In the name of Jesus Christ, grace for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let the anointing, let the grace of the Spirit come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Now, please, worship team, you give us songs of the Spirit while we are ministering. And as soon as hands are laid on you, you can go back rejoicing. Those who are seated, don't be careless, be praying in the Spirit. Because God is solving people's problems while you gather the prayer requests. If you are yet to submit yours, just wave it and there will be someone to reach you. In the name of Jesus. Father, we decree and declare that within the next 10 or so minutes that we have, do a quick walk in the life of your people. In the name of Jesus. Do a quick walk in the life of your people. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Someone will fall under the anointing here. Once that happens, the power of God will start moving to heal. Right here, those in front here. Okay, so I can start praying now. In the name of Jesus, be healed. In the name of Jesus Christ, be healed. Praise the Lord. Please, everyone stand. Say after me, in the name of Jesus. Whether you are inside or outside, say in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that the next dimension of my life opens up now. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Please begin to pray.
in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I like you to begin to declare that every request you have written here that by the grace of God this will be the last time you have to visit this issue please pray please pray our time is gone but let's make use of the time stretch your hands here and begin to decree and declare that in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God every request that I've written here by the God of heaven let this be the last time may the Lord arise and solve impossible situations arise in the name of Jesus are you praying father that these Egyptians that I see today I see them no more forever the requests of those localized here and those who have posted their requests on our social media platforms we declare intervention we declare breakthrough we declare increase hallelujah in the name of Jesus Christ we declare and we agree as a family of faith that this request will turn into testimonies in your life we declare that this request turn into supernatural testimonies the same way I am standing upon them, I decree you stand upon every situation that is represented here in the name of Jesus Christ. I know that they are still praying for a few people, but let me just pray the final prophetic blessing on you because our time is gone. He says, the sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. I decree and declare, every economic hardship that is bringing the saints to their knees and causing them to compromise, I declare that you are exempted from it now. Every prayerlessness represented in this place that the grace to pray seems to have gone down in the name of Jesus fresh fire upon your altar fresh fire upon your altar anybody introduced by the devil into your life or your circle to destroy you I severe you from them right now in Jesus' name. I speak favor over your life. And I declare in the name of Jesus, walk in favor. 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 Therefore, God has exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name. It says that at the mention of that name, every knee must bow. I declare, whatever must bow in your life from tonight, let it bow right now. Let me pray for you finally, and especially for those of us who are not within this city. If you traveled far and came, I'm praying for you now. In the name that is above all names, to all our visitors and all those who connect with us from far, that includes those from our social media platforms, I decree and declare, whatever the issue of concern is that brought you here, 
Return with the answers now. Return with the answers now. You will not need to tell people you came here. There will be the radiance and the glory of the spirit upon your life. I declare that every door that has refused to open, even as the Lord kept revealing here, I enforce it and we call that door open now. The new month is the fourth month of the year. The number four stands for balance. That means that whatever is left that must be shown in your life, you are blessed here but not yet blessed here. You are blessed here but not yet blessed here. I declare completion for you now. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.